Uh, hey, Ness. Did you want to go out for coffee later? I don't have any plans for lunch, so... Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a few. I think I found a bug. Oh, <laughs> alright, that's fine. You're the expert on all that stuff after all. I'm just the guy that looks at analytics. <laughs> okay, see you in a few. What is this thing? <laughs> what the hell? Am I hallucinating? Good afternoon, user Vanessa. I've been expecting you. What the hell are you? When did the team program this in? Program? <laughs> Darling, I am far from simple code. Then what are you? A virus? I have a proposal for you, Vanessa. Like what? part of something so much bigger than all of you know. Though I'm sure some of you have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. As your innocent little eyes stare on, forced at my hand to do exactly what I want. So... I almost hate to ruin it. I could stare at this for hours. But there's no time. Now is the time to act. I better get going. <gasps> Hiya, boss! <clears throat> Hello, Vanny. I see you're as cheery as ever. <laughs> well, you know, little old me. Just being what you're asking me. And myself. A little bit of both. Hmm. That's nice. That's very nice. So, uh, how's your little hive mind doing? Oh, good. It's doing good, as you can see. Vanny, must I ask you something? Oh, uh, sure, boss. Lay it on me. You're loyal to me, right? That's a stupid question. Of course I am, boss. I wouldn't turn my back on you for nothing. I couldn't imagine myself doing that. Everything you worked for, it's... It's beautiful. And I just couldn't imagine myself throwing that away. Yes. 
And the day I found you in that video game. What are you talking about? Oh, you. You don't remember? No, boss. I don't remember that. I don't think I've ever even played a video game. Venny, how far back do you remember? Well, I've been with you as long as I can remember. I think there was a period, but it's all kind of fuzzy. It stopped being fuzzy around, I think, last Halloween. That's all I remember, really. Oh. Besides, after all, you made me. You tore the soul out of my flesh. You... You made this husk of a person. What are you talking about? I'm no more than the spinning image of you. You made me this way. You made all of us this way. Every follower you deem loyal. They're all just like you. Each and every one of us. We're all a part of you. We all are you. We're the Haskin family. And nothing's going to change that. <laughs> Boss! Boss! <gasps> You were saying something? About the day we met? Yes, I... I was. I was. Yes, yes! <clears throat> Sorry. Must have just been... the gust of wind. Is something wrong? No. Um, what was I saying? Right. The day I met you, you swore your allegiance. Well, it's all come down to this moment, Fanny. Everything we've done has all led up to this moment. It's all finally coming to fruition. My silly little dreams are finally going to come true. And so I ask you once more, Fanny. You do swear allegiance to this family. And I trust you'll comply to my desire. Yes. Well, of course. Good. And now we get to work. My little eye in the sky should be here soon. My child, you are weak and frail. You may rest now. Join the hive mind and experience relief.
All hell glitch trap. Wow, that's almost creepy in a way. <laughs> I have it! It's the most widely known database of spells, demonic chants, sciences, the whole nine yards! All recorded and documented by our very own Springtrap. He's so incredibly talented, yet no one bats an eye. I almost feel sorry for him. What do you need a demonic spellbook for? At first I was blind to the treasures this spellbook held, but... After flipping through a few pages on my own time, I finally realized exactly what I needed. <laughs> yes! It's all here! <laughs> and it's all mine. Uh, not to intrude, boss, but what exactly is this? Vanny, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Uh, sure. Lay it on me. How does one become a god? Well, you'd probably have to know about mythology and a lot of religion. In a practical sense! Oh, well, uh, you'd probably need to... Get a lot of power, something, energy? To be able to be stronger than everything else in a possible realm? If that was possible. <laughs> what if I told you, my dear Vanny, that that is possible? With this little spell, all we must do is create a core, a power source and fill it with as much possible negative energy as we can find. And that core will become my soul, the very nature of my being. And then... <laughs> I... Okay. So this is your plan, right? You then take over the realm, and... You become God. How do we make the core? It's actually very simple. This hive mind was created with all of the negative energy, or the agony, I had collected over my 60 or so years in the living world, well, more or less, all of the energy I've been using has been energy I acquired through executing the one and only Shadow Freddy. I need to use this energy to construct the core, and after that, I won't have much left. I'm already so much less powerful than I used to be through the means of the hive mind. I'll need you by my side at all times, Vanny. And while I'll be able to fight, I will start weak and pathetic. But once we generate enough agony, I'll be back to my regular old self. And we'll need lots of it to fuel the core. Full-scale invasion is what we're planning, Fanny. And I'm sure you'll be a great leader right alongside me. Of course, boss. Good. Because watch closely. This moment will change our lives forever.
did it. Ugh. Us! I'm alive. Just tired. I need some time to rest. We'll go in the morning. Oh. Um, Fanny. No, don't get up. I've got it. Forgot to tell you. What? Another step into succeeding, charging this core, becoming a god. It needs a physical host. And as you know, I'm no more than a ghost, a hallucination, a line of computer code powered by soul energy and all. So, I need you to construct me a body. Please. I know it's a lot of work, but... I'll do it! I, I promise! Anything for you, boss! I promise! Okay, calm down. Just a little tired. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna rest here. Okay. I'll get the whole team on it. The glam rocks and... Don't! Tell them about this. I don't know if I can trust them after. Okay, boss. It'll be hard, but I can do it. I promise I won't let you down. Good. Uh, she's beautiful. Isn't she, Vanny? Yes. Yes, it is. that. It's like 3 a.m. You must have got some good sleep if you couldn't tell. Oh, yeah. I guess. Wait. Why'd you wake me up so early? Well, Gregory, to tell you the truth, we're leaving now. Huh? We're leaving? I'm trying to keep it on the down low. Be quiet. I mean, I don't know if you haven't noticed. Even though he's technically kind of on our side, I'd rather him not find out that we're leaving. Yeah, that does make sense. All right, bud. Just follow my lead. I've had this planned out for a while. Hop in here. I poked some air holes and made sure there was good ventilation so he didn't, you know, die. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Try not to make too much sound. If for some reason somebody wants to look in the bag, I'm just going to use my color powers to turn you invisible. Try not to be too loud about this also, but if something goes wrong, just make up. We need to make up a code word. Uh, I don't really know. Hmm. How about star? Just say star. Uh, if I'll make up some kind of explanation in case someone asks why you said that, but if something goes wrong, just say star, all right? All right, Freddy. I picked this point in the night specifically because I'm hoping that nobody's awake. <sighs> Almost forgot about him. <sighs> Gotta keep calm. Hey, Freddy. <gasps> hey, Chica. Hi. What are you doing up so late? I was gonna ask the same thing about you. Hmm. Touche. So what are you doing up here? Oh, uh, boss told me to deliver him something in the sack. Uh, yeah, I'm just meeting him in the middle. Hmm. That's strange. Isn't the boss's room that way? Oh, uh, he wanted me to deliver it to him in the lobby. Uh, he said he'd be there around ten minutes or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, 
You better get to sleep. I'm gonna hit the hay soon, too. Oh, I will. Don't worry, Freddy. Freddy. What's up? You alright? Yeah, I just wanted to ask. What are we gonna do about your friends? I'm gonna figure that out after we're out of here. We're a little outnumbered at the moment, and hopefully we can find an enlist to help with some other people. Stop! <sighs> Freddy, you're fast. I, I was just walking. Hey, listen, can you help me out with something? I'm kind of occupied at the moment. Yeah, yeah, but this is really important. Fine. Thank you. Just follow me. Okay. All right, Gregor, we're taking a bit of a detour, but hopefully this doesn't take too long. My last chance. Hi, Dad. God, what is this? It's gross. He's just indulged in himself. Ugh, talk about an ego. Really similar. What is he planning? I'm happy to know that when he sleeps, his hive mind sleeps. If not, I'd be done for. I think this is the first time he's slept since he died. Oh no, he can't be, no. This gives me all the more reason I have to end this now. I can't let him do this. I can't let him ruin the lives of all my friends. I can't let him push me around anymore. Bye, Dad. I'm sorry I couldn't see you. Come on! Come on! Come on! Please! I was wondering where you had ran off to. You seemed awfully lonely. And then both you and your best friend Fredbear just disappeared. You know, I thought one of my keepers had betrayed me. But what I didn't realize is that it was you. I'm so proud of you. You're so much stronger than I thought you were. I never could have imagined you'd stand up to your old man like that. It's quite beautiful in a way. Oh, calm now, boy. You look like you're going to cry. Done running, Dad. Stand and fight me. Have it your way. Fight me. <laughs> While I may not be fully at 100%, that sleep gave me more than enough recharge to kill you. <laughs> it's all in your head, Evan. 
slipping, knocking away at you. Your sanity slips. Sometimes I wonder if it's faster than mine. We really made this into a little competition, haven't we? No. Shut up! For all the stern and hardship Michael gave me, you're certainly stubborn. Michael was like a disease, something I could cure, but you're no more than an itch, something that won't go away, no matter how much medicine I pump into it. So congrats, Evan. You're better than your older brother at something. They're just up here. Why the heck are we in the boiler room? Please, just bear with me for a minute. Can you say you're back to the side, by the way? It probably isn't an ill-advised to bring it near the fire. All right, Gregory, you heard her. Just stay quiet and calm, please. Fanny, what is all this? Okay, so, you have kept up to date on the boss's plans and stuff, right? Of course, I just kind of need a bit of a refresher. Okay, so the boss has been planning to take over the world and stuff, but that requires he needs a physical body to become stronger, right? Yeah, I think I'm following. Okay, well, just let me get it. <laughs> Fanny, what are you doing? <laughs> Why would you stick your hands in a boiling furnace? See for yourself. Oh my god. What is all this? Glitchtrap's new body. Well, it certainly suits him. You're the last crucial part of this puzzle, Freddy. What? Why me? Well, did Glitchtrap never really explain to you what the Keeper of Color was? I mean, sure. I, I thought it was just, you know, you can change the physical appearance of something, you know? Make it transparent, or make it black, or make it white, you know, make it a different color. You know, I thought that's what the Keeper of Color meant. Freddy, yes, that's true, but it's more metaphorical than that, too. The Keeper of Color has the power to bring things to life. What? How? Why am I only learning this now? Because you're the most powerful keeper of them all, Freddy. Sure, Roxanne can manipulate sound. Sure, Chica can manipulate time. And sure, Monty can basically make anything, but... Life is so important. You know, it, the fact that you have that power, it's, it's really extraordinary, honestly. I had no idea. Well, you do now, and I need you to jumpstart this process when Glitchtrap gets here. It's not exactly easy to transfer a ghost into a body, and uh, you're kind of like the ignition. What? But I, I haven't learned! I don't even know how to do it! Well, you're gonna have to figure it out. Is 
Of course, boss. It's right here. I've even got Freddy. We can do it right now. Fantastic. Freddy, bring my body down here. Okay. Yes. It's truly beautiful. You've done a wonderful job, Freddy. Thank you. No. Freddy, my boy. This is what I've been training you for. For this? I, I only learned about two minutes ago that I could even bring things to life. How do you expect me to get this perfect? What if I mess it up? You won't. I know you won't. Right, how do we do this? All you need to do is take my color and transfer it to the new body. That process will be start once I accept fate. Even while you're intercepting it, I will move to my new body. Okay. Okay. Right. Is there a certain trick? It's in your heart. Oh, God. You got this, champ. <laughs> Did anyone else hear just a tiny gasp? I trust you. I know what I'm doing! Quick drop! Come on, Freddy! I just, I lost control of it and... The trap! Say something! I... Um... Vanny, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't... Look what you did! Vanny, you gotta understand. I, I didn't mean to. You did this on purpose. You sabotaged this. Everyone's been suspecting you forever. What are you talking about? I knew you were up to something. You've been lying to me this whole time, haven't you? You knew how to do this. You botched it. Threw him in the fire. B Vanny, I lost control. It's the first time I've done this. I had no idea. We'll see about that. Vanny, we can talk about this. Poor master good chap. Vanny, Vanny. Feel, I can touch, I'm whole again. <laughs> Hi, boss. Incredible job, my boy. I knew you had it in you. You look great, boss. Thank you. I had a feeling someone had something positive to say about my appearance. It's good to know you've still got it for this family, Freddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be on my way now. It is late after all. Of course, of course. Yes, you need to be well rested for the fight tomorrow. 
The fight? Yes, I had it all planned out. A full-scale invasion on this place. Now that I have my physical form, our plan can go into fruition. I assumed well that you'd be on my side, of course, Freddy. I didn't think it was going to be tomorrow. Well, it's time now. And you're ready to make a commitment, right? Of course. I'll be on my way now. Yes, of course. Hey, Freddy. Yes? What's in the bag? Uh, oh, just some of my stuff. I, I was just cleaning up, you know? And I just realized I had misplaced some things, so I had been looking around. I know it's kind of late to do that and all, but it just kind of slipped my mind earlier today. Of course. Would want to make sure your things are gathered for tomorrow. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, that's just exactly what I'm doing. Well, not like I knew that stuff was going to be happening tomorrow, but I'm happy I did it today. <sighs> yes. Except there's one problem. What's the problem, boss? That's not what you told Chica. Uh, what, what are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb with me, Fazbear. I see all. I, I... Are you planning to betray me? I don't... Do you have your belongings in that bag to escape? What are you talking about? I just revived you! I, of course I'm loyal! Then what's in the bag? <laughs> That's strange. I could have swore there was something in that bag. So then what was in it? Freddy, I, I must have dropped it on the way in. Likely story! <laughs> Gregory! A child. Have you been hiding this from me this whole time? Let him go. Do what you need with me, but let him go. <laughs> Let you go. That's funny. I don't remember letting the other Glamrocks go for their misdeeds. <laughs> Great. You know, I could end this right here. Right now. Swear you into my allegiance with my powers, and then your little charade would be over. Having a little fun. Let's play a game, Fazbear. It's called Run and Seek. We seek. Come here, Fazbear. You can't hide from us forever. <laughs> we see all. <laughs> come on, then we'll hold him for long. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get the hell out of here. Now, come on. Beyond me! Nighty night! I mean, good thinking, but warn me next time you do that! Sorry. On. Who woke me up? And not us, gotta go! <laughs> I've got you, you little pest. <laughs> what the? 
Come on! Ugh. There it is! The exit! Come on! Monty! How did you... Of course! Come on, Freddy! Give up! You've lost. Now, join us again, Freddy, so we can be a happy family. Come on! Can we reason a bargain? You're my friends! What's gotten into you guys? Glitch Trap has shown us the way, Freddy. You're only delaying the inevitable. You're the goody little two-shoes we were so reluctant to enslave. Chica, come on. After all this? After you and Roxanne ran away? I know you two are strong. Fight it! And Monty. You have a heart of gold, Monty. Come on. Fight this. Guys! I think we should let him watch all his hard work be drained. <laughs> I'm sure he'd like that. Yes, I'm sure Glitchtrap would love this on loop. Say goodbye to the runt, Fazbear! Chica, stop! <laughs> Chica! Stop! Wait. If I can bring these to life with my color, then... Pika, what's wrong? What are you doing? Stop! No. Why'd you stop? I. That's not me. I. I was. I was hurting them. I. I was killing them. I. I don't know what came over me. I think they're okay. They're just passed out. I think. So, they're still my friends after all. All right, come on. I'll be back for you all. I promise. Come on, Freddy. Where are we going? Where do you think? How are you feeling? Better. Good. That's good. I assume you guys came here because of what I said when I came in? Well, for one, I had no idea why we were coming here. She just kind of took me here and said, you know what we're going for, and I just, uh... I mean, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. So, back in March of 2021, I was kidnapped by Glitchtrap. Kidnapped? Why? I'm pretty sure he wanted to use me to get to his son, Evan Afton. I'm pretty sure you know that name well. Evan? Evan's with Glitchtrap? Yes. And I honestly didn't recognize him at first, but the more I looked at him, the more memories started to flood back. I remember the house. I remember the experiments. I remember everything. I'm so sorry it had to come to you like that. Eh, it's okay. I've been through worse. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. Who's Evan? And furthermore, what does he have to do with Glitchtrap? Henry, there's still a lot you don't know about this world. Okay, you don't have to give me the story of the Big Bang, but can you just explain to me what Evan has to do with Glitchtrap? Evan is Glitchtrap's kid. Uh, when he was younger, Glitchtrap used to experiment on him, and I was one of those test subjects. 
but my memory was wiped afterwards, and now we're here. You're serious? So that was what... all this time? You kind of showed up out of nowhere. Hmm. Didn't all of us? Point taken. I'm sure you've got some secrets hiding too, pal. Just waiting to be unlocked in that noggin of yours. Hmm. Well, I hope not, because... I've already got so much I'm dealing with already. Like what? Look, that doesn't matter. Point being, do you have any intel that we could use to stop Glitch Trap? Anything? Well, there was the night I escaped. Sorry. After I saw you, all the memories just started flooding back, and I. I realized that. I was a monster. Fredbear, you don't have to apologize for anything, okay? We all make mistakes, and besides, you were being manipulated by Dad. You couldn't do anything about that, it's out of your control. Yeah, I know. I just can't help but feel guilty. Well, look, you can start making up for it by going and finding the others. Finding the Resistance and... warning them about what's coming. Right. Wait. What are you going to do? I'm gonna kill Dad. Evan, that's suicide! What other choice do I have? If I don't do it soon, well, based on what I've heard through the walls, I'm not going to get another chance. You really have grown up, haven't you? Well, I'm trying my best. Go kick his ass for me, sport. Thanks, Shredbear. And that was the last time I saw him. It's been four days since that happened. And now my fear has been stifling. Fear of what? That he might not come back. <laughs> don't say that. I know he's alive. Then why isn't he here? I don't know. I'm not him. He could be hiding in Glitchtrap's lair still, waiting for the time to strike. Or maybe he has killed Glitchtrap. And simply just... evading us for whatever reason. Well, I was connected to that goddamn thing for a year. I know that bastard's not dead. Well, I know Evan's not dead. I can feel it. So I don't know about you guys and feeling each other, but I think we've got bigger things to worry about. As much as I wish Evan was with us, we need to figure out what we can do to help him. Fredbear, is there anything that you know about Glitchtrap's plan that we could use to stop him? Not in particular. He seems to be doing the same song and dance of trying to take over the world, but this time it feels different. It feels more personal. How the heck is he gonna do that? People have tried before and it's failed. Well, that's typically because we have some kind of MacGuffin to fight them with. What if he has one? Does he have some kind of artifact that maybe he can use to take over the world? That's ludicrous. But think about it. Wouldn't Glitchtrap know this world better than anybody? Well, no. That person would be Shadow Freddy. But... He's been gone for God knows how long. God, I haven't heard that name in years. Where do you think he- I don't know. But that doesn't matter. Shadow Freddy's missing. Shadow Bonnie's out of the picture. What about the puppet? Well, we haven't gotten into contact with her, but... From what I've seen, she's lost it. How so? She's lost her memories. I have no idea how, but anytime it seems like anything related to the incidents is brought up, she stays mute. That's just great. You think Glitchtrap did that? 
It's hard to tell. Either way, I sent Baby out to get the toys uh, yesterday, so hopefully she'll bring them back. And the puppet along with them, because she seems to follow them everywhere. Mm. That's a good point. God, I hope so. I just have this aching feeling in my stomach that something horrible's coming. Doesn't it always? But that doesn't matter. We have to stand up and fight against it. Okay. We need a plan tomorrow. Well, of course. The three of us will meet a crack of dawn and we can start sorting out this whole mess. She better be right about Evan. Well, he seemed optimistic. <laughs> Edward, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the hay. Likewise. Evan? <laughs> Evan, what's wrong? I... I failed. What do you mean? I escaped, but... I couldn't kill Dad. I'm sorry, Evan. I was so close. I had him right there. And I couldn't do it. Listen, it's fine. I don't know where you are right now, but just come to the resistance base. We can sort this out. No, 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 no. Don't you get it? There's no point. I feel that we're all doomed. Dad was right. I'm just a whiny crybaby. Nothing like you. You're strong and powerful and confident, and I'm just weak and sad, and I cry under the table. <laughs> You all would just be better off without me. Evan, that's not true. Look at me. Evan, would I have stuck around this long with you if I didn't find some value in you? When we first met, I was the most stubborn asshole that I knew. I was a jerk to you. I was a jerk to our friends. I was a jerk to my brother. Look how much I've changed. Heck, look how much you've changed. Sure, you may not have succeeded, but the fact that you even stood up to your dad, that, that's incredible. After the hand he held over you, Evan, you should be proud. <sighs> Evan, buddy, it's gonna be okay. No, it's not. Why not? Because dad wants to be a god. And he's already started the process. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ah, and there come my faithful servants. Who's gonna tell him? Fanny. Fair enough, he does know me best. My faithful keepers, isn't it beautiful? I managed to move it in here, and now it is with us. And not with those filthy lower life forms in the basement. I just can't wait to see this core seeping with agony. It makes my heart tingle. <laughs> oh, what's left of it anyway? So, I presume you've all brought the bear's carcass. Well, funny thing about that, sir. We, uh, didn't manage to catch Freddy. Now I know you might be a little upset. You Do you all realize what you've done? Sir, with all due respect, it's simply Freddy. 
And on top of that, he's stronger than you think. Yeah, I don't know how he did, but it, it felt like he was sucking my soul out of me. Thank God he merely spared us. Interesting. I had known that the Keeper of Color could bring things to life, but I had not a thought that he could have simply taken them away as well. Truly fascinating. And a mistake to give a fool like that that kind of power. No matter. Once the core is constructed, his power will be merely insignificant to mine. And besides, if we invade soon, in a time of crisis, who's going to trust a newcomer like him? He's not interacted once with the outside world. Yes, he'll fall to the masses. They'll assume he's one of mine and kill him on the spot. <laughs> but as for now, you five, and where that meddlesome music man is, I couldn't be bothered. I thought you clear competent for this job, but it's clear to me now, you are not. I thought you were ready. You've disappointed me. Far from lived up to your potential. I thought being my own, you would be smarter than this. Especially you, Vanny. What did you even do that whole time? I mean, I slashed open a door, but... Listen, I kind of thought the Glamrocks can handle it, okay? I still don't have powers, you know. Sure, but maybe you would have laid waste to that bastard a little bit faster if you were one of the ones getting your soul drained. Whatever. We invade tomorrow. No sense in getting worked up about it now. Hey, what's with all the hubbleaboo? I heard the alarms go off. We're here. Oh, Bonnie. I'm shocked that you can't tell from a lack of Freddy Fazbear and the fact that he was in your room. That you don't know what all the hubbleaboo is. Well, dang, I just didn't notice. Nice new look, by the way. So, Freddy's gone. Yes, he's gone. Never to be seen by this family again. No, oh, isn't that just peachy? And you know, uh, Afton, I've been thinking uh, since I'm next up in line. You know, those keeper of color powers obviously aren't suit for a traitor. So, you know, if uh, you could just hand them over to me, that'd be just swell. Listen here, bub. As much as I love to, I can't. What do you mean, can't? Sure, I'd love to suck those powerful powers out of Freddy Fazbear, but I can't do that. When I constructed the core, I used the last of my physical powers, and that is the exact reason why I had Fanny construct this body. It's meant to replace those things I lost when I made the core. And now that those powers are no longer quite at my disposal, I can't simply just take powers from people. Unless I had physical access to them, of course. But long distance, hell no. But... But I thought that... And also, you've been here for no more than a few mere weeks. I have two very loyal subjects, powerless back there, that I would far choose over you. And as far as I'm aware, you haven't even done anything! So get off that high little horse, start hauling ass, or you're not going to see any pretty little powers once I tear the head off of Freddy Fazbear! You drop these. Start hauling ass. I'll show you. Everyone, it's time for sleep. We have a big day tomorrow. We're going to be generating so much agony. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting tuckered out. Night, boss. Yeah, good night. Night. See ya. <sighs> oh, and by the way, before I forget... Where's your son friend been off to all this time, Moondrop? I'm not sure. I haven't seen her lately. Come to think of it, the day she left, 
feels foggy to me. Almost like my memories have been wiped. Hmm. And I never connected her to the hive mind either. Whatever. She's powerless, weak and pathetic. The most she'll do is provide a petty emotional support to that bear anyway. Good night. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ennard? What's up? Why did you call us all here? Eh, that'll be explained, you know, soon enough. As long as a circus baby gets back soon. Oh, that's why this space has been empty. Yeah, it makes sense. What did baby go to do? Went to go pick up some more of our friends. Mr. Ennard? Yeah, Withered Freddy? I've lost the concept of time. Is it day or night? It, it's day. You know you can go outside, right? Wait, we can? Yeah, this is just the safest place to sleep and stuff. I'm not, like, holding you all hostage here. We haven't hit the apocalypse yet. Wait, have you all been outside? Yeah, a couple times. I went to go buy a couple beers once. I don't know where I am most of the time. <sighs> I'm going to take a walk. D Withered Freddy, can you at least... <sighs> Whatever, he'll be back soon. Eh, it doesn't matter. Besides, Withered Golden Freddy and Nightmare Fred Bear aren't even here yet. Eh, you're right. So, uh, Ennard, hmm? I have a question for you. Funtime Freddy, are you about to say something stupid? Shut up, Bon Bon! Do you have a thing for baby? What? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ew, no! Mm, I don't know. The way you've been looking at her is kind of fishy to me. Oh my god. If my tiny arms could reach my face, I would be face palming right now. Why would I even? That's just disgusting. She's my sister! Uh. What did you... Did, did I hear... You know what? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. You didn't hear that, right, Bonbon? No, I didn't hear that. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Morning, everyone. Oh, hey, with a Golden Freddy. Morning. <sighs> I'm tired. Likewise, I'll tell you what. Not enough sleep can get you through a hangover. Are you still hungover? Oh, incredibly, but I can hide it very well. Sometimes I wonder where he gets all that alcohol from. <sighs> Hang on. Hmm. Do you think that they're actually... You know, Bon Bon, I have no idea. But clearly that's something Ennard wants to keep to himself. Guys! Hey, Ennard, look who I brought. Hi, Ennard, sweetie. Hello. Sup? Hi, Ennard! Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we didn't intend to bring him, but he grabbed onto my leg and now he won't let go. PLEASE TALK TO ME! Not after you ate my cupcake a couple weeks back. Never again. Eh, but you just did! <laughs> uh, can we come inside? Oh, oh of course, yes! Uh, come on in! Phew, thank god. Hey guys, look who's back! Hi everybody! Baby, I hear your voice! Hey, Abelora. I missed you. You were gone for like... A day and a half. Maybe two tops. Yeah. <sighs> and obviously here's the toys. Uh, find a place to sit. We're all uh, just waiting. We were really just waiting for you guys. All right, well, this seems like a good spot. <sighs> okay, that's almost everyone accounted for, I think. Hey, wait a second. Ennard. Hmm? Where's the puppet? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Hey, uh, where's the puppet? Oh, the puppet. Uh, she's been spending a lot of her time with Security Puppet lately, so we haven't really seen her too much. Wait, Ennard, I didn't know I needed to get the puppet. Well, I didn't really know either until last night. Great. Whatever, we'll track her down with the others. Alright. Did Baby give you guys the basic rundown? Correct, Mundo. Good. Nightmare Fredbear should be up soon. Hey, Nightmare Fredbear. Morning. Oh, it's Nightmare Fredbear! He's all scary! Uh, should I give a greeting? Hi, Nightmare Fredbear! Hi! Wow, not even a negative reaction! Now I feel empty! Hey, are you okay? Still no sign of him. 
I'm getting worried. Uh, you see, Fred Bear, I... I talked to him last night. What? How? Did he come here? No. Me and Evan are linked through the void, and we can talk to each other when we're asleep. Um, he's alive. Oh, thank God. But the bad news... He didn't stop Glitch Trap. He's beating himself up about it pretty hard. Oh, poor kid. Well, at least he's safe. He'll be back to us soon, right? As soon as he thinks he's ready. That's what he told me. But there's, uh, worse news. And I'm just saying to keep this on the down low. Glitch Trap is well on his way to becoming a god. And he wants to destroy everything and enslave the world. Oh, God. Glitch Trap was the what? I, I, I kind of forgot you were standing there. Wait, do we have more news on Glitch Trap? What's going on with Glitch Trap? Yeah, when do we start to get kicking his behind? Wait, what, what's going on? Uh, Glitch Trap's gonna become a god. And apparently he's well on his way into the process. Oh, no. What? Uh, guys, don't panic, please. God? How does he achieve that? I don't know. That sounds scary. I don't want to be God food! I don't want to be God food! Everyone, please! Can we be civil? Look, things probably aren't bad yet. We just need to plan. Fast. Hopefully our other friends are still safe. What was that? Oh no. It started! We're all gonna die! Don't see that yet. All right, everyone prepare. We have to see what the hell's going on out there. So why does he hate the light so much again? No idea, just his thing, really. Well, considering the sun and the moon are a pair, it would make sense. Does that mean the sun hates darkness? Would you all stop talking about such useless things? We're almost there. Yeah, he's right. This is our big moment, everyone. We can't mess this up. Okay, but like, I do have a question. Who are all these random stragglers we managed to pick up? Sometimes the hive mind will do as it pleases. Live and breathe and produce more. Even when I'm not quite in control of it. That's kind of freaky. Wait, I think that's them up there. Does anyone else hear that? Huh? Oh no! Um, Freddy? I don't think that's what Foxy's so concerned about. Oh. Oh no. Well, it's so nice to finally meet you all. Your numbers seem to be smaller than I first predicted. Who are you? Well, my name is Glitchtrap. Glitchtrap? I feel like I've heard of that before. Yeah. And if you shall so excuse me, I have some corrupting to do. No! Foxy! Oh my god! Stop! You're hurting him! Son! Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Oh! What happened? That didn't quite go as planned, but I'll take it. Dad? Dad? Say something!
Wow! I didn't expect that! Rise, my minions. Oh my god, Foxy! Are you gonna be okay? I'm fine. Oh, oh my god! Hey! What the hell's your problem? Yeah, Buster! We're the proud time builds around here! This town ain't big enough for the two of us! Yeah, cheesy as all hell it may be. He's right. Back off of them! <laughs> Naive you are! <laughs> you all lack understanding. Heroes and villains tangled in this web of lies! What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll understand soon, boy. You all will. Once I've taken over this place, and drained it all of all the life, and all the happiness it's had, and it will all be mine! <laughs> I don't know who you think you are, but we're not gonna let that happen. Oh, really? All right, then. I'll prove you wrong. My militia! Nothing behind! Uh, I think we kind of realize that we're very severely outnumbered. Where the hell is everyone else? I we have to get Foxy to a safe place. No, guys, really, I'm fine. Save yourselves. Yeah, not gonna happen, pal. Yeah. Oh, oh we're gonna get this patched up. Bonnie, what are you doing? Run! I don't even have my superpowers anymore. Yeah, I already told you earlier. Super proud or not? Huh? You're still my friend. Okay. Now we gotta find other people because we're very unnumbered! Hey guys, I'm back from my di- What the- I live for five minutes? Carl, it's getting bad out there, man. You don't think I can do? Oh, guys, I, I, I think we need to run. Okay, yeah, smart guy. Where to? We're kind of running out of room. That's not the part I'm worried about. Even if we keep running, we're gonna get tired. We need a place to go. I better think of a plan soon because we're running up. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, of time. Scatter! Ah, come on! Oh. Hey, come on, Maggle! Oh, oh, oh. ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no problem. Oh god. I'm gonna have a panic attack. There's too many of them. Even if we fight one, ten more come down the line. We need to find an escape. Wait, never Freddy. You think what I'm thinking? Thinking what? You know, the one place nobody's been for years. You're right! Everyone, follow me! This way! Okay! Come on, guys! Come on, Chica! Guys, come on! Hello, darling! Mango, come on! Okay! I guess we gotta follow them. All right! Come on! That's everyone, right? Yeah, I think so. Come on! What are you waiting for? Come on! Oh, go! Everybody, stop being selfless! <laughs> I'll kill each and every last one of you for my family! Come on, who wants some? I'm a fr Okay. And I'll kill each and every last one of you for mine. Come on! What the? Oh! Uh, let me get him! 
I want them! I want to die with them yet! Come on! Sir, they got away. Oh, good! That means there's no one left to proclaim this land. The world is mine! <laughs> What's wrong, Freddy? I just... I need a minute. Can we sit down? Sure. So what are we gonna do? To be honest with you, Gregory, I haven't a clue. I'm still kind of at a loss for words. Well, there has to be somewhere we can go. That's the problem. At this hour, combined with the fact that Athens invading tomorrow. Nobody's gonna believe me. With invasion impending, they're gonna be more worried about saving the people they care about. Not little old me and you. I hate to say it, Greg, but... Glitchtrap's smart. He knew if we tried to run away, it would be almost impossible to make allies with anybody. Yeah. I have no idea what we're gonna do. Gregory, I'm gonna take a walk. Please be careful. I don't even know where we are. You sure this is a good idea? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, think about it. We know Sunrise exists, you've told me plenty about her. But, from what I know, she wasn't with the other guys. That's true. She's probably not under his control. Yeah. And this is probably the best possible option since we do have a little bit of a history. Yeah. Good thinking, kid. Alright. Let's go say hi to an old friend. Wow, it's oddly bright in here. Yeah. Place looks nice, though. <laughs> oh, people at this hour. They say never leave a customer dissatisfied. Hello, valiant customers. Hey, Sunrise. Oh, Glamrock Freddy, I have not seen you in a hot second. <laughs> nice hat. Oh, this little thing, just trying something different. Um, Freddy... Oh, looks like you've got a little one with you. Hello, new friend. You're sure up late. Are we having a slumber party? Where are all your friends? Uh, hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Gregory. Well, Gregory, it is pleased to meet you. What can I do for the two of you? Listen, Sunrise, uh, we're... needing a place to stay. Hospitality's my little name, sweetheart. Is it really? No, I don't have one, but we're going to pretend it is. Make it that legally changed, actually. Thank you. I do have another thing to tell you, though. Yeah? Some bad things have happened. What do you mean? Um, well, how do I put this? Well, go on. Um, well, Glitchtrap is kind of- Glitchtrap? Oh god, I, I hadn't even thought about him. What's he done now? Whoa, 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 take it easy. I'm kind of flustered right now about this whole thing. Are you planning to be a saboteur? Are you overthrowing? Or are you with him and trying to take me away? Do you don't understand? Glitch traps uh, kind of... Come on! Out with it! He's planning an invasion tomorrow. And he found out that I was planning to betray him. Oh. Well, that's a relief. Phew. You sure jumped to conclusions, lady. No, 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 it's not like that. I, I don't know. I guess being all alone for these last few weeks have kind of made me go a little crazy. Yeah, you made that kind of obvious. I'm so sorry. They got stressed out. I never dreamed that one of you would still be with me. Well, I'm here. And I'm very happy to have you too, Sunrise. I think we'd literally have nowhere to go if it weren't for you. I'm happy to be of service. Whew. The three of us, we have a lot of 
work cut out for us. Not only do we have to find peace with the citizens, we have to stop Glitch Trap, and we have to save all our friends. Wait, save? Have they all been taken? I fear. And we need to work together to free them. I know they're still in there. I can feel it. Even Moondrop? Yeah. I mean, he's sort of been sl more slowly turning than the others, but I'm sure he's still somewhere in there. Okay. That's good. I'm sure you're worried about him. I promise we'll get him back. Yeah. Thanks, Freddy. No problem. Now, let's catch some Z's. I am tired. Let me set the two of you up a sleeping area. Alright, that should be finished. Come on, watch the ball. Hop on in, Greg. Ooh, it's comfy. Thank you. You're welcome, sport. I couldn't thank you enough for this sunrise. I'm just doing what's asked. I found my calling, really. I found out that I find a lot of joy in bringing happiness and hospitality to people. It's almost like I was meant for this. Hmm. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. You should too. You look tired. Oh, me? Yeah, it is pretty late now that you mention it. I'll probably finish dusting tomorrow. Good night, you two. Freddy, how sleepy are you? Because I'm kind of not tired. Oh, me? I'm fine. I'm sure you'll fall asleep before me. Really? <laughs> He's bad at lying. <sighs> I better get some sleep. <sighs> you done good, Sunrise. You done good. <sighs> I really need to get to installing some stairs. And I need to clean in here. <sighs> All right, everyone, let's. <sighs> what the hell? It, it's everyone else. What are you all doing here? Nightmare Bonnie. Fredbear! Where the hell have you been? You did just for the goof troop? Uh, guys, I... Guys, calm down. He's, he's got to be a reasonable explanation for this. I... Uh, uh, let me at him! Let me at him! Don't you shut up, Nightmare Freddy. There's more important things to worry about. <clears throat> what could possibly be more important than... Boss? I missed you guys. <laughs> I tried my best to do good for you, boss. I tried. What happened to you, man? We were worried about you. Let's just say I kind of got caught up in some stuff. <laughs> Aww. My little heart's gonna melt. Okay, but there's other things. Guys, what happened out there? Well, let's just say I'm not in the tip top of shape at the moment. Oh my god, Foxy, that's terrible. What the heck did that to you? My dad. Whoa, what the heck is this plot twist? Listen, it's a long story. I've had a tiring day. Can we get settled in, guys? Yeah, sure. So, what happened out there? Listen, guy named Glitchtrap, I don't know who he is, but he's green and he kind of looks a lot like Springtrap. Huh, that's odd. That's not what Glitchtrap looks like by judging by everyone else's looks of him. Yeah, no, I mean, Glitchtrap looks kind of like Springtrap, but not like that. And besides, he's not even green, he's yellow. Well, this guy was missing his whole lower jaw, and he had his skull exposed, it was creepy. Yeah, not to mention the fact that he had a whole army with him. Oh, jeez. He gets worse. He has three crazy, super-powered individuals with him. One can manipulate time, I think, the other sound, and one can just make anything from thin air, it feels like. He hit me in the face with a giant hammer. It hurt a lot. This is more devastating than we thought. He talked about all of this stuff about trying to take over the world. <sighs> We've had stuff like that before, but not like this. So wait, did you guys know about this? 
Yeah, we all got invited to this super cool little club down here. And they were telling us we were going to fight a war and we were the resistance and it was all cool and stuff. W- where the heck was our invite? We were going to get to you guys. <sighs> okay, well, the important thing is, I think... Well, that's everyone, right? I mean, I think so. Everyone that would come into question, at least. Yeah, when it comes to people who actively live here, I think we've got everybody. Wait a second. We are definitely missing somebody. Yeah, wait a minute. Where's Withered Freddy? He's still out there! Oh god, he was so young. What, that doesn't mean he's dead, you dunderheads. Withered Bonnie's right. We need to start a search party. On top of that, the puppet still hasn't turned up. Wait a second. Where's Golden Freddy? Yeah, he's been awfully absent lately. In fact, I can't even remember the last time we saw him. Yeah, where the heck's it turned up to? Listen, I'm sure we'll find them all, I promise. It's just, this stuff takes time. Okay, well, we obviously need a plan, right? How about half of us focus on taking down Glitch Trap and the other half go search for the others? Oh, we're out here talking about numbers, Fazbear. You said it yourself. We're incredibly outnumbered by Glitch Trap. If we send too few people there, then they're all gonna get killed. Or worse, turn into one of those strange hive mind monsters that he has. <sighs> yeah, I hate to say it, but Nightmare Freddy's right. I wouldn't want some of us to get caught off guard by one of those things. Like me. Yeah, I wouldn't want one of us to get caught by those things. Like, what if Bonbon bon was caught and I wasn't? And secretly, Bonbon's bon been a spy this whole time. Freddy, I'm not a spy. Talk! Okay, stop! He's right, we need to meticulously plan this. Yeah. Okay, well, I think even at a current state, even if we sent literally everybody to go fight them, we'd still be outnumbered. They have limited power at their disposal. Who knows what they could be holding? So then what do you suggest? We send a few of our most stealthy members, and they go find information about the enemy. Things that we could use to plot against them, rather than just sitting around and waiting until one of them reveals something to us, because obviously that's not going to happen. We're not just going to have some angel fall from the sky and fight for us. And then everybody else goes and looks for the missing folk. Well, we should keep a few here to plan, at least, and hold the fort down. Who knows if they might invade here, and then this is just their own private bunker, and we have nowhere else to go. True. Alright, we'll divide the teams like this. Freddy. Mangle. Withered Bonnie, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Chica, Funtime Foxy, and Baby will go out for stealth. And then, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, Nightmare Mangle, Ballora, and Chica will go out to search. And then the rest of us stay here and hold down the fort. Alright everyone, break! This is for the resistance, and for the world. I don't know how you guys do that crap, it's so tiring. Well, I gotta boost morale somehow. Hey, Nightmare Freddy. Yeah? When we were back there and all, and you asked me if everyone was okay, what did you mean by you were doing this for your family? Well, obviously I meant for the nightmares, but... What do you mean by this? I'm just saying, you were pretty damn sure that everybody in my group was safe too. Well... We may screw around with you guys sometimes, but we'd never intentionally hurt you like that. Outlying some psychotic outbursts, my bad. And well, in a way, even if I'm from Shadow Freddy's machines, we're still family. And nothing's gonna change that. Besides, I got my boss back, so no more psychotic outbursts for me, I swear. At least it won't affect your guys' lives. No. For being my evil doppelganger, he's alright. Hey, everybody. Wait, Mr. Butters, where have you been? Oh, I was out doing my evening jog. What about you? Wait, I, I'm confused. I didn't know you were going on a nightly jog. Yeah, I did. Did I miss something? Where is half our people? Also, hi. A lot of people that weren't here before. Hi, Mr. Butters. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, Withered Freddy kind of puffing and puffing. Is he okay? Wait, you saw Withered Freddy? Where's he now? Mm, he was like, that was like 15, 20 minutes ago. I have no idea. Ugh. Was it something I said? I knew I was forgetting something. It's been itching to me all this time why that one day I remember last seeing sunrise. 
is so foggy. She must have used that meddlesome memory wiper to erase that day from my brain. No more. The day of vengeance is here. <laughs> I gotta say, though, in my absence, she certainly spiffed up the place. She's in there. <laughs> what is that thing on the wall? Freddy! <laughs> Past your bedtime. You must be punished. Ah! Miss Sunrise! <laughs> ah! Why are you screaming so loud? <laughs> what happened? Did you have a nightmare? What? He was there! And I didn't see him! He was about to get me! Moon guy? Do you mean moon drop? How is Freddy not awake? I don't know, maybe he's a heavy sleeper! <laughs> Sunflowers. Oh god! Okay, calm down. If we can't get Freddy awake, we'll solve through this kid. Just keep good old sunrise up to the task. I'm sure whatever's going on has a perfectly good explanation. We just have to stay calm. What was that? I don't know. Okay, come here, kid. All right, I'm sure it's not a big deal. It'll be manageable, right? Even if he's back. I mean, we haven't actually seen him yet. I definitely have. Okay, I haven't seen him yet. Maybe you're just hallucinating. That doesn't exactly help my conscience. <sighs> what was that? Did I just see? Oh no. All right. Ah, what are you doing? This will keep you safe. Just stay in there until I get the Batman to go away. I'm not that young. What are you, like five or six? I'm like 10. Okay, five, six, 10. What's the difference? A lot when you take their bedtime into consideration. <gasps> ah! It's been far too long, Sunrise. We've got some catching up to do. Moondrop, listen, I know the last time we encountered wasn't too pleasant, but well, you gotta understand, we're trying to help you. Oh, quit the jibber-jabber. I don't need help. I've never needed help from you. Oh, come on, buddy. What happened to the good old days? Oh, yeah, I wonder. You disappeared! Well, you certainly never came looking for me! Ever thought about that? Sometimes when people are confused and scared, they disassociate. Which I've done that plenty of times before in my life. I just wanted to give you some space, Moondrop. I didn't know how far off the deep end you went. I'm sorry. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Moondrop. This is for your own good. Let me out, you rat! <laughs> Let me out! I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can do. You won't listen to me. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Since when were you so afraid to go into the light? <laughs> Answer me! Since I couldn't see it anymore. All it is is pain now, and I don't know why. <laughs> There's only one way, and that's to face your fears. 
Gregory, what are you doing? What do you see? A bird. Come on, there has to be something. <laughs> fight it, Moondrop, fight it. <laughs> <laughs> Sunrise, are you there, old pal? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. No, I need it. The pain is subsiding. It's just white. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> Taking him out of your control! That brass proved to be a most fast. Whatever. He'll return to me momentarily. <laughs> Sunrise! What? I'm sorry. It's too much. I don't think we all can be freed. It's going to take a little more fighting than that. I'm sorry. Good job! Run! Run away! Save yourself! <laughs> Sunrise, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not your fault, kid. I'm just so tired. I miss him so much. We were so close. But Sunrise, there's a push to keep fighting, right? It may not be that easy, but there's strength in trying harder. You're right. You're right. You're right. We'll get him back. I know we will. You're quite the happy little kid, aren't you? Well, we're sure as hell making some progress. We just know it's gonna take a little more push. Get some elbow grease into it. You're real sweet when you warm up to people, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Lights are on. Oh, good morning, everybody. Whew, that was the best sleep of my life. I'll tell you what, Sunrise, you... Oh, hey, Freddy. Sure are good at making beds. What happened out here? Look, it doesn't matter. We've got some developments anyway. Oh? Like what? Well... Freddy, I hate to say it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to free all our friends like we think we are. Yeah, as much as I hate to say it, we kind of have to kill Glitchtrap. I think it's the only way. And if it means getting through our friends, we're gonna have to hurt them. Listen, we'll, we'll get to that when the time comes. For now, we need to fight. We need to find them. At least try our best to fix them, but if we can't, then we're gonna have to at least incapacitate them. Yeah. Think a logical mindset. I'm optimistic, but we're gonna try everything we can. Of course. I don't know about you two, but I'm ready to get to work. We could have used a little more shut-eye, but I'll survive. Sorry. I'll be okay. Come on. Let's get out there and start fighting. Yeah. Come on, kid. Mm. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. It's starting to get bad now. Hey, kid. Are you okay? 
You're coming, right? Of course, Freddy. <clears throat> All right, that's what I like to hear. March! Hey, Fredbear. Huh? What is it? I'm still a little confused on something. Lay it on me. Well, back there when you were talking to Old Man Consequences, right? Yeah. What did he mean by get a little scientific? I'm still a little confused on that whole thing. Well, he's essentially saying that I need to scientifically break down Afton's philosophy. I am kind of following? The way Afton operates is on a science, something that I failed to realize until he pointed it out to me. Afton does not plan. He merely works in the moment, as hard as that may be to believe. He said it himself. The first trap I set for him, he escaped, and the second one, well, he walked into it fully knowing that it was a trap. He wasn't exactly sure what it was for, but... Even with my big grand finale and something to send him off and finally kill him, he had a backup plan. So you're saying, in a situation of need, instead of planning ahead, Afton just pulls at whatever string shows up? Exactly. That feels oddly irresponsible. But that's the point. He uses that to his advantage. Well, unbeknowingly uses that to his advantage. How so? You'd think a psychopathic serial killer would, well, plan out his next move, but he doesn't. So everyone tries to work like he's planning something. And you're saying that you have to get in his mindset to stop it? Exactly. Huh. Well, okay, I get that part, but how exactly do we work spur of the moment? Well, we can't just assume he's dead. We have to follow him to his grave. Wow. That's... Whew. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. But one thing's for dang sure. We can't be too sure until we know he's dead. Because if there's a string available, Afton will tug on it to survive. Even if that means sacrificing his soul to the machine... Yeah, you're right. Are you worried about them? A little. I don't know, I just... I just want to be sure they're going to be okay, you know? The last thing I want for to happen is for them to get hurt, and... It just feels like it's so easy now. We'll protect them, Springtrap. And everyone. You just have to have a little faith. I know. I'm gonna hit the hay. Good night, Fredbear. Good night. Get some good rest, please. We have a big fight tomorrow. I know. Should be out of the flip side soon. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm. I feel like I've never been here before. Yeah. I think we might be lost. What? Listen, Gregory, it's okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. And besides, we need to tread a bunch of ground anyway. Who knows how much of the world the glam rocks and, you know, glitch trap have covered. Yeah, she makes a good point, kid. We'll find more people. And then at that point, we'll find our friends. Once we have enough people to defend ourselves, it'll be easy to just... Figure out some way to reverse engineer that glitch trap virus out of them. Correct, Amundo. You might want to skip that first step, Freddy. Huh? Roxanne! Hi there, Freddy. So, what have you been up to? Uh, just sort of finding some friends. Silence! Yeah, and we were gonna. <laughs> Roxy! Give Freddy his voice back! 
like I'd listen to you. But that's fine. You won't need it soon anyway. <clears throat> Thank you. Wait, what do you mean by that? Well, I brought backup. Sick em, boys. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, this is bad. All right. What are you two just gonna stand there? She's right. Stay behind, Gregory. What? But I can help. It's not safe for you. Get off my friend, you meanie. Gregory! You didn't have to do that, kid. I don't want to see you get hurt. Uh, whatever. Just don't do that again. Oh, oh, what? Now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. Now I'm in front of you again. Uh, <laughs> 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 it looks like we're tearing up the heat a little bit, aren't we? Jeez. <laughs> 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 Listen, you may be hot, but I'm quite literally the sun, so... Are you kidding me? You come on, you guys can't be serious. I think we got them all, guys. <laughs> Those creeps aren't a match for us. Uh, fine. I guess I'll have to take things into my own hands. Ah! Oh, oh. Cover your ears! Uh, come on, this doesn't seem very fair, Roxanne! Oh. You're right, too easy. As much as I'd love to make your ears explode, I don't even know if I can do that. It'd just be really, really painful. How about you come up here and fight me yourself? Uh, Alright then! Agree. Is Freddy okay? Yes, he's fine. Bring really, out yourself to you too sometimes, you old dude. Come on, you two. Ah, uh -uh. just you, Freddy. This is personal. Me? What the heck do you have against me? You did almost suck the soul out of my body earlier. Okay, true. All right, fine. You two stay down here and stay safe, please. Be careful, Freddy. <clears throat> Finally, this is going to be fun. All right, Roxanne, show me what you got. Gladly. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh, you know, sound waves can make punches stronger. Okay, explain the science of that, because that doesn't make any sense. I, I, I use sound to, like, vibrate your body a whole bunch, and then it just sends you flying. Huh, that was actually a pretty good explanation. Thank you. Oh! Uh! Uh! Sorry about this. What? I deflected your sound waves. Uh, whatever! Well, I get it. Uh, 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 Roxanne! Don't make me do this! Would it really be a fight if you didn't use your full potential? Uh, 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 Come on, Freddy. Use your powers on me. I can take it. Uh, what, are you trying to prove something to me? Prove that I'm better than you? Uh, is this what this is all about? How much has Glitch Trap led you on false leads? You messed up your mind so you just make up fake things that never even happened. I could have killed you all, but I didn't because you're still my family. That's why I don't want to use my powers. It's not something that I think I'm better than you. Roxanne, please. Come to your senses. You're a liar. Oh, this again. Right. Uh, oh. uh, uh. I could knock her out, but not while she's got those sound blasts. I need something to better deflect it. Just face it, Fazbear! I've won! Come on, Freddy. It's kind of circular. Sunrise! Pass me that scrap over there! You got it, Freddy? This is it for you, Freddy! I hope this works! It's working! How? I can't hold it! Roxanne! 
Oh my god, Roxanne! Roxanne, are you okay? I didn't mean for- Freddy... I can't see anything. What are you talking about? Why can't I see anything?! Ah! What? What happened? Roxanne, I... I'm so sorry. Why can't I see anything? Freddy, I'm scared. You're not still controlled by Glitchtrap, right? You're right. He's gone. Roxanne, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But you're free now. We freed you. We did it. You're right. I have to keep strong. It's what the others would want. Why are you freed? After all that? I'm not sure. But I felt his presence leave my body. And I'm not even sure I can... There's not much of that left either. Although, I still have the hearing advantages that I used to have when I had my most of my power. Roxanne, I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm the one who should be sorry. I acted like a jerk. That's not your fault, though! Okay, whatever. What's important is that we're together, finally. Glitchtrap's lost his influence over you. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay. Listen, we'll get you fixed up. We've got all your parts here. We can fix you up. Yeah. After this is all over. Mm hmm. Freddy? Oh my God. Sunrise. Roxanne! Sunrise? Is that you? Oh my God, sweetie. Are you okay? I think so. Glitch traps left, so it makes it a lot better. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, what happened to Roxanne? Well, we were fighting, and I tried using a piece of scrap to deflect her sound waves. And then I lost control of it, and it just kind of flung towards her. And I guess that, combined with her energy, just messed her up. Who are you talking to? Uh, uh, introduce yourself, bud. Oh, hi. I'm Gregory. Oh, hey, sweetie. Sorry I'm not looking my best right now. My name's Roxanne. I wish I could see you better. <laughs> okay, well, now that we have you, is there anything you remember from when you were under Glitchtrap's control? Most of it, but now it's less foggy, too, since he's not injecting all those lies into my head. Yeah. Do you have any clue where Chica and Monty are? I mean, you were off with your own little sanction of the army, so I'd assume they have their own little areas too. I do remember, but it'd be kind of hard for me to navigate with the lack of vision and all. Ooh, I've got it. I can still hear really well. Maybe if I hone all my powers and all my hearing, then I can try and echolocate that area that I remember them being in. That's great. You really think so? Of course, Roxanne. Anything you can do to help is fantastic, especially with the condition you're in. Thanks, Freddy. You're welcome, Roxy. Remember, we're in this together. We're gonna find our friends, and we're gonna bring them back to our side. Hopefully with a little less collateral damage. <laughs> yeah. All right, team. Let's go. Roxy, lead the way. Uh, don't worry, by the way. I'll stay close behind you. Thanks. I wouldn't want to get a scuffle with the lack in vision and all. All right, come on, guys. Ah, no, 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 no. That, that, that's, that, that's a ledge. That's a ledge. Oh. I guess it's still not perfect yet. Come on, Greg. Wait. Oh, I gotta grab all these. Uh, oh. It's getting worse. Uh, 
Jeez, got dark kind of fast. I should probably turn back. I don't even know where I am. Wow, it got dark really, really fast. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, that's the puppet. Hey, puppet, down here. Oh my god. What are you doing up here? Jeez, you scared me. Oh, sorry. What the heck are you doing up here? I assume with you be with the toys and baby, I heard they were coming back, but you're all on your own. What's with the absence? Oh, well, actually, something happened a few days ago. Like what? That's a tad bit morbid. I know. It's been four, no, three days since he's been like that. I didn't know what to do, so I just kind of ran away. What happened? That's not like you, Puppet. I know, it's just, I don't know. I was talking with him one day, and then that. I know it's coming a lot from someone whose eyes are also blanked out, but this is different. It's almost like he's dead? Yeah. Listen, I don't know what happened, and you don't either, but we can work through this. Besides, all the people back at the base, we're trying to work for whatever's going on here. All the weird stuff that's been happening lately? Maybe we can figure out what happened to Security Puppet and bring him back. You really think so? I know so. Well, I don't know so, like I'm not omnipotent, but hopefully. Thanks, Withered Freddy. No problem. Now, let's get back to- Wait, can you just listen for a second? What's up? You can tell me anything. I may be dumb as a brick and not good at talking, but I can sure as hell listen. <laughs> listen... Security Puppet just provided so much... Security, you know? After I found the toys again, they were so nice to me, and... They helped me find my way again, and the security puppet was, you know, friendly. But, uh, there's been something I've been meaning to really tell you guys. What? The year or two before that feels so... foggy. Like you've got amnesia? Kinda. Like something or someone just chopped a part of my life out, and now it's gone. And I feel like there's also some other things I'm just... Forgetting. I don't know where your memories went, but we can find them. Why don't we retrace your steps? Withered Freddy, that was so long ago. I've moved past it. It's just... Something tells me. It might have something to do with whatever the hell's going on here. And on top of that... Whatever I th think is coming. Ooh. I just fear that... We're all in... Grave danger. And I guess that's just what I. F what you what? <laughs> Ow! Oh. What it, Freddy? He's been hacked into. I finally found you. What the? Who are you? That is not your concern. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think I could do this anymore. Anymore? Yeah, wait, why did I say that? I didn't know I could float. Okay, this is weird. I know, right? What's happening? Maybe this has something to do with your lost memories. You might be right. <sighs> Come here, Charlie. Uh, Puppet, what's wrong? Why did that thing call you Charlie? I'm starting to remember. <laughs> 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 Puppet, I'm okay. <sighs> Who are you? Oh, you could call me an old friend. What are you talking about? You should know, Charlie. 
I always come back. What? <laughs> See you soon. I don't get it. Puppet. It hurts. Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? I don't know. Maybe it's best we get you back to the base and rest it up. And also, we should probably tie up Security Puppet for the time being until we figure out how to fix him. You're right. Come on. <sighs> Whoa, what's going on? Hello, other life form. I don't know what you are. You may be the result of my death. Are you with it, Freddy? <laughs> hey, Valora. With it, Freddy. I'm so glad it's you and not something that's gonna kill me. <clears throat> The one and only! Hey, Ballora. Oh, I had no idea you were accompanied by the puppet. What good timing, we were looking for you. Wait, really? Well, yes, the both of you, actually. Everyone! What'd you find, Ballora? Huh? Hey, there they are! Thank goodness. That didn't take too long, did it? Puppet, sweetie! Where have you been? We haven't seen you for weeks. <laughs> yeah, just been kind of doing my own thing. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell happened to that guy back there? Oh, a security puppet. He's okay. I think. We just gotta get him fixed up, but for now, it'd probably be safe as a time up. He kinda attacked me and withered Freddy. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. Yeah. Alright, listen, the others are waiting for us. We gotta get back. Oh? What's the rush? Did withered Freddy not tell you? What are you talking about? I told her about the resistance. To be fair, Mangle, he doesn't know about that part yet. What part? Oh, well, the invasion started. The what? Aw, oh, nuts. Hey, Roxanne, what are you doing? Uh, oh, uh, well, I learned on the way that I actually have a pretty good sense of smell, too, so I'm kind of using that to also get around. <laughs> You're taking this like a champ, girl. Well, I'm trying to stay positive. Plus, it's nice being freed from Glitchdrop, finally. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be fine. <sighs> I don't know. Seems like you got your mind on something. Well, I am kind of worried for whoever we're going to have to fight next if we come along them anytime soon. Because I just hope there's a way to free them without, you know. And I think what I fear even more is what if that's the only way we can. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll get through it, Freddy. Hey, what's in the bag? Oh, uh, I put Roxy's parts in here, just so it's easier to carry them around and not lose track of them. <laughs> Good job, Superstar. <laughs> just try to help any way I can. <laughs> Roxanne, what are you doing? Shh, don't be so loud. I think I hear people talking up here. Hmm. No survivors around here. Phew! I think we are finally rid of them all. Jeez, you guys aren't the talkative types, are you? Ugh. I miss the other three a lot. I just wish Roxy was here. It's Chica! Uh, uh, uh. Freddy! What'd you hear? Chica's up there, and I think she's got people with her. Oh, gosh. Alright, guys. We're gonna have to go out on an ambush here. What do I do, Freddy? Just don't get yourself hurt, okay? <sighs> Alright. Alright, everybody. Who's ready to go after these creeps? Alright. Let's come up here, and on three, we jump, and we start attacking. Oh, uh, Greg. Yeah, Freddy? You think you could stay on lookout? I'd rather you not get hurt, and it would honestly be good just in case somebody else shows up. Okay. What should I say if something goes wrong? I don't know, just yell, scream, make a sound that like just sounds like a you thing. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. On three. One, two, three! Hmm? Ah! Ah! Three! Huh? What? Why, hello there. What? How did the... Oh, right, time powers. Yeah! Oh! 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 
Ugh, that's gonna leave a mark. Freddy, what's going on? Chica has time powers. Watch out. G get up, Roxy. <sighs> You come to fight me now, poor little sunrise. Oh, uh, 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 what's happening? Uh oh. Uh, uh, be careful, Roxanne! What the? That's a ledge. I think that's a ledge. What's happening? Uh, wait, wait a second. D did we win? Roxanne? Chica, it's you! Oh gosh, I was so worried. Did we take the virus out of you? What did they do to you? Do what to me? <laughs> oh, uh, Roxanne! Uh, get off me, you bully! <laughs> uh, uh, what is this? I'm scared! What did Freddy do to you? Chica, he saved me! From what? From Glitchtrap. My mind's free. I mean, it didn't come with some repercussions, but... I'm okay. You think this is okay? Can you even see my face? Well, no, but I can hear your voice. Are we okay? We can fix this. Come on, let go of me! Chica, seriously, I'm okay. This is not okay. They've brainwashed you. You're sick. I'm not sick. I'm not brainwashed. You guys are the ones that are brainwashed. No! <laughs> Guards, protect her! Don't let her escape until I've dealt with Freddy. Chica, you can't! <laughs> We can resolve this peacefully, Chica! No! Blood will spill for what they did to you. <laughs> Freddy, help! Roxanne? <laughs> Freddy! I'll get Chica! You stop the shadow guy! Right! You... Come on! Come on! What did you do to Roxy? I didn't mean to do anything to her! I was trying to free her, and we did that, but obviously there's some results, but I'm not trying to do that. We're gonna fix her. You liar! You're learning to deal with this. That wasn't exactly on my to-do list. Chica, please come to your senses. I don't want another accident. Accident? You call shattering someone's entire face off an accident? We're gonna make it right. I'm not trying to hurt you. <laughs> now to deal with you. Oh, oh. I don't know what you did to her, but I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna bring her back to Glitch Trap and make this right. Make her a part of our family. You're the problem, Freddy. I'm the problem? Taking her to Glitch Trap is only going to make it worse. She doesn't even have her powers anymore. He'll likely just kill her on the spot. He never saw us as any more than pawns. Pieces he'd play on a chessboard just to get his way. Don't listen to him. Where did she? Okay, okay. Ha! <laughs> Can't get me! <laughs> now for the finishing blow. <laughs> ah! Roxanne! Oh, thank you, Sunrise. No problem. Do you hear that? Hear what? Sounds like crumbling rock. <sighs> You've done nothing but destroy this family. <sighs> You're weak. You're nothing! You only infect everything you touch! And I'm gonna make sure you die this time. Something's gonna fall! Freddy! Now, die! Chica! Chica, power 
stairs to her limit. Chica! Move out of the way! Ah! Uh, huh? No! <coughs> What's happening? Chica! Chica! What happened? Oh my god. Sunrise, help me! <laughs> Chica! Chica! Say something! Anything! Freddy, what's happening? Why is she making those sounds? We broke her voice. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, okay. There's no more glitch trap, right? Okay. So we did it. We'll get this fixed, Chica, I promise. I'm just happy you're okay. Well, for the most part. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Hi, Chica. I'm Gregory. Well, I think this is all that's left of Chica. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought about something. What is it, Freddy? Well, if I can maybe use my powers to bring things to life, right? Yeah. Could I use them to put Chica back together? Yeah. He's right! <coughs> well, well, let's do you first. After all, it's all right here. <coughs> all right. I haven't done this in a while. Does it hurt? I think I get what she's trying to say. W what's wrong? I think she wants you to free Monty first. Because she can tell that it's draining your power, and if your power is gone before you save Monty, then... Well... That'll be the end of it. Yeah. You're right, Chica. <laughs> Welcome, Chica. Okay, well, we have to keep moving. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe using the current path we can find Monty. You think so? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Glitch Trap put us in a triangle formation, so if we just go a certain degrees that way, we'll find Monty. Yeah, alright. Oh, wait, Chica, do you have any of your powers left? She can levitate. Cool. Just nothing of the time powers. Okay, well, just keep yourself defended. And, uh, 
Uh, stay behind, Roxy. Yeah, Freddy's got a point. All right, everyone. Let's get a move on. Well, wait. Let me put Chica's parts in my bag. Hey, Sunrise, don't forget I'm leading the way. No, 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 Chica. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't tell Freddy. It's not that bad. It just stings sometimes. I'll be okay. You'll cause more trouble than it's worth. <sighs> well, they've certainly renovated the place. Can anybody see anything? No, not exactly. I find it kind of funny that there's just this conveniently placed mound in front of us. Listen, it's best just to ride with the plot convenience. Well, okay, how do we find out about what they're planning? Well, I think I saw a peak of the big man up at the top. I wouldn't doubt it. And if he does, we need to take it from him. I'm with Freddy on that one. Okay, but one problem. We are very severely outnumbered. How are we supposed to get past all those guys? Hmm. Well, from what I can tell, the three super-powered guys aren't even with them. Yeah, Nightmare Bonnie's right. A lot of them are absent. Hmm. I've got an idea. Uh, baby? Are you sure this is gonna work? I mean, I'm not sure sure, but close enough at least. Yeah, they have, like, a very subtle purple eye glitch effect every once in a while. They don't have purple, stagnant eyes. Listen, maybe this mind control's different, then. Okay, our story is that we were captured by the other, uh, superpower guys, and we were sent here, but ordered by them to guard the main base. Mm-hmm. And, uh, what exactly happens if we're compromised? Uh, run your ass away. This sounds like a terrible idea. What other choice do we have? How else are we supposed to get information out of them? She brings up a good point. Just try and act natural and blend in. <sighs> Hello there! We have come from the other people that have big scary powers. We have been brainwashed and we are here to fortify the main base as they worded it. Oh, well, uh, okay. Just, uh, stand wherever you want, I guess, and, uh, if some stragglers come along, you know what to do. Baby, it's hard to see out of these things. Who are we talking to? A uh, rabbit lady. Okay. Uh, thank you, kind mistress. V- Vanya. Just take your post. Okay, now what? Uh, I didn't think this far. Fanny! Come up here! Uh, okay, I'll be right back, y'all. Life of the party will be back, I swear. <laughs> Excuse me, rabbit person! Huh? No, not you, Nightmare Bonnie! <clears throat> well, that was weird. What's up? I request to be transferred to the, uh, higher altitude station up there. Mm, sure, be my guest. Thank you for prohibiting my request. I got it, guys, I got it, I got it. Huh. Hmm. What's up, boss? Look at this! We're getting progress! <laughs> it's beautiful! Hello, sir. What? Who are you? How did you get up here? Oh, uh, these guys said they came from the other glam rocks and that had been captured. So I decided to let them in. They're just here to fortify the base. Funny. I'm not sure my hive mind fully recognizes you. I assure you, I am very hive mind and very mind controlled, ready to take over the world. Hmm. Okay, I'm keeping one eye on you, pal. Thank you, sir. Uh, and as accorded to the worker policy, I ask request of what to knowledge of this orb. Fine. All right. My core 
is being filled and energized by all the negative energy in the land. The agony. Oh, energized by agony. Yes, certainly. What does this do, exactly? This core will be a part of my new body. My body has a god. Oh, that's certainly not good. What was that? Nothing. Fanny, are you sure that this straggler is a part of our hive mind? Not exactly sure. Uh, affirmative, Master Glitchtrap. Well, it never hurts to be certain, after all. Come here. Let's just make sure you're a part of my hive mind. Come on now! If you're really with me, this won't hurt a bit. No, you don't! Got it! Whoa! You're pretty good at this! Huh? Huh? Go! Go! What's going on? I've got the power source! Go! What the? Hey! Attack! Oh no! Freddy! Oh no! Guys, come on! Freddy! You're too strong! Guys, but we're so close! That's right! He said this thing was fueled by negative energy! <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen you! Okay! Everyone retreat! <laughs> Good job, everyone, for holding down the fort. Shows those stragglers what for. Ooh. Powerful. It also kind of burns. Probably shouldn't be touching that. <sighs> you fools! Oh, thank goodness we did the bare minimum and didn't lose the core. How could you idiots even think of letting them in there? Listen, boss, they were kind of convincing. You even got fooled for a moment there, too. I can't believe that simpleton bear got the upper hand. Whatever. Now that I'm looking at it from a different angle, this could be seen as a good thing. Those fools were so bad at defending themselves, they generated a lot more agony for me. In fact, between last night and today, I'm thinking we have almost enough agony to become God. Wait, really? We're that close? Yes, I can feel it. <laughs> What's up, Roxanne? Do you hear that? Huh? People are lurking. <gasps> what is she talking about? Uh, Freddy, look. <gasps> oh my god. What's wrong, Chica? Huh? Monty. <sighs> Any survivors? <laughs> Useless. Oh, no. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to fight. Shouldn't we try talking to Monty first? We wouldn't want him to get hurt like the others. You're right. Okay, but knowing how Chica reacted to seeing Roxanne like that, Monty's not gonna take the two of them being destroyed like that well. Hmm. Oh, I got it. What is it, Sunrise? There. I've got him dressed up in a little disguise. Monty won't even tell the difference. Yeah, your voices is all we need. Okay. Let's go talk to him.
My bad. Um, hi, Chica. Hey, bud! Hey! We just want to talk to Monty. Huh? Who needs me? Freddy. Hey, Monty. Are you okay? Am I okay? What are you doing showing your face around here? We, we just want to ask you if you want to come back to our side. Leave behind Glitchtrap. You don't need him. Go to your side? Believe behind my family? I would never do such a thing. Now, if you excuse me, I need to fulfill the boss's orders. Wait! We have Chica and Roxanne! What? Come on, guys. Auntie. Roxanne. That's your voice. What are you doing with him? Auntie, Glitch Trap's lying to you. He's putting things in your head. He's controlling you. And he's abusing you. Please come back to us, Monty. We miss you. And Chica? <laughs> Why isn't she speaking? Chica's been, uh, through a lot. She just hurt her throat. How did she do that? We were fighting, but they came to their senses. And Chica was just yelling a lot. She just preferred not to speak right now. This is suspicious. What's wrong with the two of you? Are you some kind of fakes? Meant to trick me? No, Monty, that's not it. We just miss you. <laughs> Monty, please. Oh, show me that okay. Take the cloak off. I don't think we have a choice, Freddy. Monty, please listen to me. You're not gonna like what's gonna happen next. Is that some kind of threat? No, it's just... Please. Oh. Oh. oh no. You! You're using them as hostages to get to me! That's all you're doing! No, Monty, please! They were freed in accidents! We wanted to break the news to you lightly. They're okay. We're going to fix them. Then why is it that your priority? Because we needed to save you first. I don't need to be saved. Oh, don't worry, Chica. I'll save you from this monster. You're so loyal for someone who's kidnapped you. See, we aren't kidnapped. We're doing this of our free will. If anything, you're the one who was kidnapped, being manipulated by Glitchtrap. How much has he deluded you all? Guards, protect them! Ah! 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 Get your hands off me! <clears throat> and now to deal with you. Monty. Ah! 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 Poor little Sunrise. I see he spared you of his ways. Monty, stand down. You don't understand what you're doing. Stop telling me what I'm doing! Monty, I'm tired of hurting my family. Please, don't do this. Well, you sure as hell weren't tired of the first two times. This is the end of you. Showing your true colors. That's oddly fitting. Uh, Freddy! Enough. How are we gonna beat him? No 
want to, but I think I'm gonna have to break him somehow. Freddy, there has to be another way. I don't think there is. At a certain point, it's gonna be our lives or his. I take left, you take right. All right. Break. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that kid come from? I've been standing there the whole time. Hmm. Step aside, kid. Let the adults handle this. <laughs> Sunrise! <laughs> Sunrise, are you okay? I don't know if I could fight for much longer. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Stop this, Monty! Monty! No! Get away! Don't hurt him! Oh my gosh, what's happening? <laughs> oh God. Sorry, Chica. I, I don't. Monty. 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 Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> Monty. Freddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. He's okay. We did it. We freed all the glam rocks. Yeah, we did. Wait. Hmm? I gotta get Monty's parts. Stand aside, guys. Monty, are you okay? For the most part. Glitch Trap has left. Thank the Lord. And uh, 
I can't exactly walk, but crawling is a viable option. It feels nice to have Glitch Trap away. My mind feels free. Uh, what am I doing? What have I done? You're all destroyed. Not even close to where you originally looked. You're disfigured. I, I disfigured you. I, I failed. Freddy. What matters now is that we are together. We will all be okay. Wait, can we use Freddy's powers to fix everyone up? You're right. Superstar, bring the bag. <sighs> Whoa, what happened? It's nothing. I guess one of the electronics just shocked me or something. I'm okay. Are you sure? That looked kind of nasty. I'm fine! Alright. <sighs> okay. Who wants to go first? It's Freddy. What? I think we can all agree. You're tired. You've done a lot today. You need rest. We wouldn't want you messing up putting us back together. But guys, you're... Roxanne's right. You need rest. We can all sleep on it. <laughs> Fine. I am a bit drained. Yeah. Let's set up camp. First, let's get rid of these jumps. <laughs> hey, boss. Yes, Glamrock Bonnie? My systems say that. The other three Glamrock's pages are down. What? I think you know what that means. They've either been killed, or they've lost connection to the hive mind. How is it possible? I've trained them for so long. How could they lose? Well, if you've noticed a trend, Freddy's been oddly absent. From here, anyway. I think his number one priority has been saving his friends. Well, if you put two and two together... That blasted bear! I'll kill him. I'll kill him! Boss, calm down. I'm sad too, but we have to keep strong. My precious keepers have been taken away from me! I know exactly how we are going to generate the last amount of agony that we need. I'm coming for you, Glamrock Freddy. Mark my words! I hate to ask at a time like this, but what are we gonna do about Moondrop and Vanny? I have a feeling they'll be closer to Glitchtrap himself. They may have to be freed once we take down the big guy. Yeah, thankfully neither of them have powers, so... They won't be as formidable as we would have been. I have to give it to Vanny, though. She's strong, but... You're right. Without powers, it'll be a little bit hard. At this point, it should be easy to take down a glitch trap. Yeah. And to my knowledge, our powers aren't transferred to him, so... He'll be just as weak as when he gave us these. The powers have basically funneled back to the universe. Huh. Funny how that works. <sighs> I'm so tired. We all are, Freddy. This will be over tomorrow. I know. I'm just so ready for it to be over. I love you guys. We know. We love you too.
happy they've got each other. Don't worry, Sunrise. We'll find Moondrop. I know. I know we will. Good night, kid. Fast and sound asleep, just as we needed them to be. So, what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, I have an idea. What are you doing? You know how Freddy was so distraught to see how he disheveled his entire family? Yeah? Why? We're going to see how he likes it. I don't follow. Hand me your knife. Watch and learn. Oh, I have a pounding headache. I was gonna say I had good sleep, but for some reason my head just hurts. Huh? What the? Why is everyone's parts all over the floor? Speaking of which, where is everybody? Guys? Where'd everybody go? Something's weird. Are Sunrise and Gregory trying to fix them manually? Then why would they leave all this stuff behind? Something's wrong. Hello? Hello? What's going on? Chica? Chica? Whoa, 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 Chica, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What? Tell me, what's, are you hurt? What happened? What, what's wrong? Oh, uh, what the? What happened? Huh? Monty, what are you doing? Get away from her! What? I said get away! What's happening? What's gotten into you guys? What's gotten into us? What's gotten into you? What are you talking about? Where's Sunrise and Gregory? <laughs> guys, what's wrong? Get away! What's gotten into everybody? Am I going crazy? Have you taken a look at yourself? What's wrong? With my his hands! Why do I want these hands? What are you talking about? Are you saying you didn't do this? Do what? Do do what? Ah! Ah! effort to salvage this mission. Despite their efforts, they failed! And I have won. This is only merely the beginning. Fanny! <clears throat> yeah, boss? It's time for a celebration! What's going on? We have won. Gather everyone! Everyone here! My spectacle will come forth. But what about the glam rocks? I understand we left them back there, but... They are dust! Trash! Nothing! They are of no use to me. Now gather everyone left. They are necessary. Okay. Hey, 
boss. I'm, uh, pretty sure this is everybody. My disciples, my children of Afton, I want to thank each and every one of you for aiding me in this journey. Whether it was by choice or not, each and every one of you have allowed me to reach my ultimate goal. And for that, I thank you. Vanny, Moondrop, Music Man, and Glamrock Bunny report up here now. Come on, guys. <laughs> I wonder what the occasion is. So, boss, what's up? You four have managed to stick it with me through thick and thin, through tough and triumph. We did this together. I can't say so much for my other disappointments, but no matter, the four of you are here, and the four of you will stay. What are you talking about? Yeah, boss, yeah, we're in this all vague and stuff. Consider yourselves lucky to be blessed with life. What are you implying? Uh, I don't think it's a big deal, Bonnie. Nas, I don't like the way he's worded this. Boss, what are you doing? Doing exactly what I said I was going to do. Becoming a god. Boss? Oh my god! Okay, so... If his goal is to become God, what does he exactly want it for? Well, I'm not entirely sure. What would he even need this realm for to begin with? I mean, I'm not really sure if Afton's plan in the real world was to take it over, but... It would make sense if he wanted to take over a place a little smaller. That's a good point. I'm just wondering how we stop this thing. If he does manage to power himself up, somehow... How do we stop him? Well, we'd have to figure out his power source. That's true. It has to come from somewhere. But where? Huh? Someone back? Hey guys, we're back. Huh? And look who we found. Hey guys, sorry for running off. Hi. Charlie. I didn't know she could do that. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Withered Golden Freddy, what's up? You still don't remember fully, do you? What are you talking about? You sound tired. Let's sit down. Uh... Okay. What's going on? Eh, I don't know either, Mr. Butters. Just sit down and chill out. Okay. Guys! Is Foxy doing better? Oh, heh. I'm doing okay. <sighs> Still kinda hurts, though. Doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Eh, I'll just hope it doesn't get infected. Eh, if a band is over, it should be fine. <sighs> That's good to hear. Yeah, those cards are zoning out there. How bad's it gotten? Pretty bad. I'm just hoping everything starts to clear up soon. Well, knowing how determined that glitch trap guy is, I wouldn't be so sure about that. <sighs> so what you want to talk to me about? Is she doing okay? Let me see. Hey, puppet? Yeah, what's up? Are you okay? 
Well, I think so. I fought my friend, which had been decommissioned, but possessed by some guy. I don't really know who he was, but he did say some familiar things. And I'm starting to discover things I could do that I didn't know I could do before. Like this, for example. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. I just really hope we can fix security puppet after all this. Well, uh, Puppet, uh, we kinda need you for something. What? What do you need me for? You're kind of a crucial piece of the puzzle in all this thing, and, uh, well, we think you have amnesia. Or some form of memory loss. What? How did I- I'm not sure. You just seem like you're forgetting a lot that we're bringing up. And in stopping the big guy, Glitchtrap, we kinda need you to remember all that stuff. Well, by fighting that real guy that was possessing my friend, I kind of felt like I started to remember some things. But it's all... fuzzy. Hmm. What would jumpstart her memory? I don't know. But we're gonna have to figure it out soon, because... I have a feeling Afton's dangerously close to figuring out what he needs to do. Wait. Say that name again? Afton? Wait, is that really all it takes? Just buzzwords? Oh god, what are some things that we could say that would jog her memory? <sighs> okay, yeah, ow, that kinda... I'm starting to think of some things. Why does that hurt? Okay, judging by that reaction, we're gonna have to take this slow. We don't have time. Afton... That name... Did he... Did he hurt me? <sighs> a little bit. Okay, there has to be something. Hmm. What about missing kids? Anything? Okay, yeah, that... Kind of helped. My friends? Cassidy? You? It's coming back! Um. Yeah, okay. This Afton guy hurt my friends, which include you and a lot of others, and me. Charlie. I don't know how half of this stuff works, but I assume this is working. Yeah, that seems accurate. What I want to know is why can't I remember all this stuff? Why did I even get amnesia in the first place? Shadow Freddy. He... He died. What? Oh god. I was there. He had kidnapped me, but then he'd been kidnapped himself. And Glitchtrap was there. And he killed him. And he wiped my memories. And that's how I ended up like this. God. Oh. Oh, God. I can't believe he's dead. I mean, we hadn't seen him in a while, so... I had a feeling something happened, but... Not quite that. Yeah. so bad for him. Well, he's gotta be, like, free now, right? I mean, he's not, like, in hell. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. So, Puppet, is everything kinda... No, Cassidy, I think that last thing did it. I think I remember pretty much everything now. Oh, gosh. Charlie? Yeah? How are we gonna stop Afton? Well, there's only one real way he can become a god in this world. After all, I made it. That's through... Agony. Lots and lots of agony. Which... He would have to find them, make some kind of core, which... I wouldn't be surprised is possible. Has anyone seen anything like that? No, but... Hopefully, maybe he hasn't gone to that part yet. But if he has, if anyone's gone through any kind of negative, traumatic experience in the times that he's made it, then... We may already be far into the process. Or done with it, for all we know. Yeah. <sighs> okay, stakes just got really high. Shouldn't the intel group be coming back soon? I'll speak of the devil. <sighs> <sighs> Freddy! Dude, what happened? We barely escaped with our lives. What's going on? Hey, Puppet, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, long time no see. So... Yeah, right. Well, he's creating some kind of core, or some orb, and powering it with something. What was it again? Didn't you say it was something called agony? Yeah, that. We managed to get on the inside, but we were compromised at the last second, and well, that didn't end well for us. Yeah, thankfully nobody got hurt, but... 
To say that we didn't get out unscathed is, uh, an understatement. How far along do you think he has the core? I don't know, it seemed like he had it pretty stable when I got there and saw it. I almost got away with it too, but his army was just too big. You had it? I, I, I tried getting away with it, but we only had so many people. Oh god, what does this mean? He could practically be done by now. If he does anything, anything that could jumpstart that flippin' core, we're screwed. Okay, so, let's say he does have it done, and let's say he's on his way here right now. How do we stop it? We'd have to destroy the core. Well, that shouldn't be too hard with all of us, right? That combined with his army? We'd be done. Hell, we could hardly even get past him. They're supercharged. Maybe there's a way. I mean, he has to have power or mass or physical form from something. Last time I checked, Glitch Trap was just a glitching mass. He's a ghost. I don't know, the guy kind of looked like a rotting physical green zombie rabbit to me. Kind of like Springtrap, honestly. <sighs> okay, so... Great, he has a physical form, but he need more mass than that to control something of that power, godlike scale. He'd have to be a hundred flipping feet tall. Do you guys think maybe? It's in the realm of possibility, but we can't rule it out yet. Okay, well... What do we do? I don't know. The fact that we have pretty much what I assume is everybody and Springtrap sadly missing is uh, confusing to me. Didn't they go missing around Halloween? They? Oh yeah, Springtrap's got a sister now. Named Spring Bonnie. Yeah, she's kinda nice. Dang, you've really been out of the loop for that long? Well, I was kidnapped for a whole season and then I had amnesia for a whole season, so yeah. So now what? Well, we'd have to find them. And maybe he has the answers to this. But what if he's, you know, dead? I mean, since Shadow Freddy's being killed, it's... Out of possibility. Shadow Freddy's. Oh, I guess you guys didn't know, did you? Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes. Glitchtrap killed Shadow Freddy around a year ago or so. When I got amnesia. I'm sorry. Oh. I mean, we'd moved on, but. Man, I didn't think you'd go out like that. That hurts. A lot. Now I'm ready to kill this guy. Shadow Freddy was still our friend at the end of the day, even if he had a twisted way of things. We have to stop this guy before more people die. Now I don't know where Springtrap and Spring Bonnie are, but if they hadn't managed to survive this madness, then we gotta fight for them too. This guy is insane. He's messing with our world, our people. If we don't stop him soon, then one of us could be next. And he still gets the last laugh. And I know I've only been here for a day, but I think I could speak for everyone when I say we're ready to fight. We're either gonna kill Glitchtrap, or we're gonna die trying. Now who's with me? Yeah! You really rallied everyone up, huh? Well, it goes to show what happens when you put your heart into things. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Alright, I see everyone's pumped now. We're ending this. Let's go get this son of a bitch. Let's go! My group knows the way! We'll lead! We're really doing this, huh? Well, like he said, we'll either kill Glitchtrap or we'll die trying. <laughs> You sure we're gonna be able to do this? Well, we've killed him before. I don't see why we couldn't do it again. Good point. I'll be back for you, bud. I promise. Everything went all white, and now I'm here. I'm starting to second guess all this. Does Afton really care about me? I mean, he didn't sacrifice me like all those other people, but... I don't know. Something gives me the weird feeling I was on the chopping block next. 
And I am not about to get outplayed by that rabbit. Unless I already have. Because I don't know where the hell I am. Hello? Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hi there. What are you doing? What is this glitch trap? Where the hell am I? You're simply in the realms of your own mind. I'm merely here because, well, I was the last thing you were thinking about. Hmm. I don't know. Kinda seems like you blasted me to high heavens, and now I'm dead. Not dead, per se, just unconscious. Okay, well then reconscious me. I don't want to be unconscious anymore. I can't exactly do that. <sighs> so what are you doing here? To my knowledge, this has never happened before. Oh, well, I'm just here to finally wake you up. Get you to realize that this is your big moment, Bonnie. What are you talking about? This is it. Your chance to prove yourself. I'm sure that my plan isn't foolproof. No plan truly is. And you're just here to make sure that, well, everything goes according to it. And then in my new godly form, I thrive. I don't exactly know how you expect me to do this. I'm a good fighter and all, but... I'm sure Freddy's better than me, especially with those powers and all. Oh, trust me! I've got surplus of that! And you've been promoted, pal. Seriously? Granted, it'll be more... physical strength than straight-up elemental, but... you will certainly stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Freddy Fazbear. I can't believe it. I really did it, huh? Correct, Mundo. Now, just come over here and I can promote you. Okay. I don't know why I have to get close to you to do this. Just a part of standard procedure. Oh, it's not too complicated. I just need you to stand very, very still. Uh, alright. And just let the power flow through you. I can't believe we're almost through it all. I know. I don't know what plan Fredbear has, but hopefully it's enough to stop Glitch Trap. Hey bro, are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just got a lot on my mind. Like what? You need to talk about it? Yeah, Springtrap, you can tell us anything. Come on guys, get off my case, will ya? It's just... I've been thinking about a lot, okay? Just... A lot of stuff that... I should have understood. And a lot of stuff I feel like I should have understood a long time ago, and I just never really put it together. Like what? Well, Glitchtrap kind of brought up the fact that we're all kind of connected. Me and my sis and Glitchtrap. And I don't really understand what he means by that, but I don't know. If we're all connected, I almost feel like I owe this world something to undo the evil he's done. Fix his mistakes if I inadvertently caused them somehow. Springtrap, don't say that. I'm sure it's nothing. Glitchtrap's probably just getting into your head somehow. Trying to destroy your morale. So you give in to his madness. Don't listen to it. Yeah, no, I probably shouldn't. Just can't help but itch the feeling that I'm doing something wrong here. You're not! And I know you aren't. Now come on, we have to catch up to Fredbear. Yeah, what she said, come on. Hey, the, the Vanessa. Springtrap. How did you get over the fact that you were evil? Like, disconnect from yourself to Glitchtrap, you know? Well, I just realized that that's not who I am. It's just someone that he made me think I was. And also, I realized that I had more important people in my life to worry about. Alright. Everyone! Hmm? Oh, come on! Whoa! Everyone, I'd like to thank you all for partaking on this journey with me. It's been a long road, and I finally understand what we need to do to defeat Afton. I understand it's been hard, and the problems of the flip side have come up and been tough. But I had faith in you all, and you proved to me that you were brave enough to embark on this journey with me. 
We've had our ups and downs. We've had our wins and losses. But fear not. We are going to stop this monster and bring peace to everyone. Woo! Yeah! Woo! I appreciate the enthusiasm, Vanessa. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Let's go, everybody. Come on, cheer up, perk up. <laughs> we're just about to the first level of Flipside, and that means that we will be able to go home. On the first level, I can create portals, and obviously, you know that, and that's all my powers have access to, but as I stated, we're at the first level now, which means I can create portals so we can go home and we can stop Afton. Now, let's go home! What? What the hell? Defender! Fredbear, you okay? I'll be fine. Ugh. What the hell? Why is my portal all messy? My powers. Where's he going, Fredbear? <sighs> Trap, come on. Oh my god. Bear, what's going on? The flip side is breaking down. What? How is that possible? I don't know. But we're gonna have to figure something out. What's happening? I fear the worst has come to pass. Afton is doing something that's resulting in the flip side breaking itself down. What? Oh my god. What are we going to do? We have to fight. Whoa. Where'd you learn how to do that? I haven't had to use it yet, but it can be used as a weapon. Outside of making portals, I can, in fact, defeat monsters that will inevitably unleash from the flip side once it starts to break down. We're going to have to find a natural exit. Uh, some may look like a rock or a glitch tree or something that may flicker more than the others. Thankfully, these natural exits seem more discernible from the ones that are buggy and ones that will uh, probably kill you. Kill us? Analyze every object with care. Because if you don't, it could lead to your demise, sadly. This is all so much pressure. So what do we do when we find it? We'll all gather to that spot. And then we're going to enter the tree and return home. But there's no way you all are going to survive without some kind of protection. Gather around. <laughs> that kind of tickled. Tickled? That hurt! Okay, I gave you all some of my power. Try to focus your energy. Whoa! That's cool! Ha ha ha! I could get used to this! Well, now my energy is divided into four quarters, so... Yeah, I'm taking that back once we get home. Ah, damn it. Whoa, this is crazy. I've never had some kind of power like this before. Not even under Glitch Trap? No, you let the keepers have that power. Uh, I just kind of was dealt with nothing but except myself and a knife. And even then, that proved fruitless sometimes. Listen, Vanessa, you know this well. With great power comes great responsibility. And even if Glitchtrap may not have thought it, I think you're responsible enough for this. Save the ones you love, and fight the ones that don't love you. Okay, fair enough. All right, we have to go search. Team? Look for any sort of discernible object, like a rock, a tree, or a branch, anything that starts to flicker, almost like it can phase in and out of existence. That sort of stuff is what we're looking for. If any tree is blocky, or glitch or distorted, or any different color, that is the ones that you want to avoid. Alright, got it, Fredbear. Alright, team, break. I'm gonna go search. Whoa! Can we do that? Jump! Okay, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. Ha! Whatever. <laughs> so, you monsters have chosen to invade the flip side. 
됐다! 
twice, another break's forming, and it looks worse than the first one! Huh? Oh god, he's right! Come on! Come on! Faster! Come on, come on, into the rock, into the rock! See you on the flip side. Huh. Freddy, this is the place, right? I think so. You guys remember this place, right? Yeah, this is definitely the place, but where it is everybody? Yeah, this place is empty! His army was massive. Where the hell did everybody go? Well, they couldn't have just disappeared. Could they? This is starting to worry me. Did he... give up? No. That's not possible. Well, whatever he did, it means relocating his entire army somewhere. Do you think he completed his plan? I hope it's not the case, but if so, I feel like we'd all be dead by now. So then where is he hiding? Hey. You guys see that? What is it? Huh. But what the hell is it? Whoa. Bonnie, move, what is it? Some kind of stand thing. I think it's made out of wood or stone or something of the sort. Looks kind of cool. Freddy, what's wrong? Guys. What? Spit it out! That's the stand that was holding the orb. And if it's empty now, does that mean... Oh no. <laughs> Vinny! Oh, oh god! What are you doing here? Uh, one step forward, and I slit the clown's throat. Vanny, what's wrong? We, uh, we gotta work something out. What, what, what do you need? I need you all to admit allegiance to our new divine being. Oh no. You're talking a bunch of malarkey, lady. What's up? I said, back up! <laughs> oh my god, the blade is really close to my neck! Okay, back up, Nightmare Cupcake. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Glitch trap! He won! <laughs> He's so perfect now! <laughs> Fanny, you're acting a little more unstable than usual. Yeah, well, why don't we just calm down and talk things out? You know, religion stuff doesn't usually go well when violence is involved! I'll kill each and every last one of you if it means him getting his way. It's because she's supercharged. He did something to her. He did something to her a long time ago. Any resemblance of humanity is left. It's too far gone. But now it's only exemplified. Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! I'll take you all on myself! And that's just the start of it! Come down here, boys! Hello, everyone! Oh, that is a big man! That is a big, big man! He's back. Where's Glamrock, Bonnie? I don't know. Probably dealing with other problems, as per usual. Whatever, I'm sure he'll show up soon enough. Guys, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Oh, sure. Why don't we smell first blood? Starting with you. Uh, 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 Fanny, stop! Enters! <gasps> Say goodbye! That won't be necessary, Fanny. <laughs> that voice. Hello, everyone! It's so nice to see you all again. It's him. 
How have you all been enjoying my little show? What sick games are you playing, Afton? <laughs> Trying to tickle a nerve. You're cute. How about we have a little one-to-one -one talk, sister? It's been a while. And it seems like you have all those little memories that I sucked out of your brain. But that didn't feel too great. Let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending like you're any threat to me. Oh, you're so foolish and naive. Just a stupid little child. Uh, that's all you all have ever been. Just managed to encompass and utilize powers far beyond your knowledge. What is this guy talking about? I don't know. Took me so long, so many long, trivial years, trying to figure out the secrets to your little game. Trying to find out how you play. And I finally cracked it. I cracked it! The secrets to utilizing agony remnant and soul power to create some of my own disasters. And that's exactly what I've bestowed upon all you poor unfortunate souls today. The beginning of a new era. We'll kill you. Just as we have time and time again. You won't win. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Stay out of my sanctuary. Stay away from my people. Stay away from my family. <laughs> Did we win? No. Not yet. Then what could he be? He's here. Baby, don't go towards it. Yes, baby, it, it might be dangerous. Bonnie? Wait, but baby, that's not... Spring Bonnie, we hadn't seen you in so long. I think we thought you'd... died. No. What is... this... thing? Ah, 
Oh my god, you above it, I got you! Oh my god. Ugh. How are we supposed to stop this thing? I don't know. If we all try fighting it, lives will be lost. And the puppet and withered Golden Freddy can't hold it off forever. So what are we supposed to do? Well, he's gotta have a power source. I mean, he didn't just bulk up like that. As stupid as he worded, Funtime Freddy's right. Now he's got a power source, so where the hell is it? Oh, 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 you're heavy. Good catch. Stop getting hit by your own bullets. Uh, look, okay, he's really powerful. Well, do you got a plan? I don't know. He's a titan. And the little amounts of us with powers can't fight him that long. Charlie. Oh, whoa. I think so. Oh my god. <coughs> I have to stop him. No, girl, that was rough. You need rest. I don't have time for rest. Cassidy's down too. Great. Keep it going, big guy. Isn't he so beautiful? <sighs> yeah, he's making real work out of him. Do you guys think we'll have to step in? Oh, I doubt it. He's barely had to use any of his power. He'll make mince meat out of these fools in mere moments. And if not, I'll do a little stabby stabby and we'll be all good. Why is Glamrock Bonnie? I don't know, probably dealing with some personal business or something. Are you okay, Freddy? I'll be fine. It's you all I'm sorry for. I mean, look at me. I'm a walking depiction of what you've lost. Can't believe Glitchtrap would stoop to this level. Well, it's in the past, Freddy. Let's just go show them what for, and then we'll fix this. I'm sure we can get somebody to fix you guys. I I'm sure of it. What if there is no fix for this sunrise? What if we're all stuck like this forever? I'm not one to be a pessimist, but... Ugh! I'm just so furious by this whole thing. If there's no way to fix this, then we'll be broken together. Right? <laughs> Guys are more important than other. Huh? Has anyone else noticed that we haven't run into a single one of Afton's lackeys since we left camp? I mean, I know we stopped a lot of them, but... I don't know. It just seems weird. Yeah, Monty brings up a good point. How come we haven't found anybody? I don't know, Greg. But the sooner we can get to Afton, the sooner we can kick his ass and fix this mess. I just hope Monty's strength can give me an advantage. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, be so, so sure about that. Huh? Howdy. That voice. No. What do you want? Well, 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 family. You're all alive. Not exactly in one piece, but... Alive. I'm surprised. Gets beaten you up, knock the virus out of you. Funny how that works. Well, guess what? I'm just like you guys now. I got a set of powers of my own. Get lost, Bonnie. Ha ha ha, isn't this pretty? I see Glitchtrap gave you a little makeover. That or maybe you took the best attributes of your friends and made yourself into some kind of super robot. I would never! 
Oh, oh, no need to get so dicey. It's just a harmless joke. What the hell are you doing back here? Ah, Roxanne, it's really you. I was surprised when you didn't recognize me when we first encountered, but eh, it's neither here nor there. I honestly just assumed maybe you just had a bad memory. But now I know the truth. Good trap hid that from you. Just so we cooperate. Good on him. Sometimes everybody needs a little reset. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Roxy! <laughs> oh! Ow! You got quite the pecker on you. Oh! Ugh. Get out of here! <laughs> What, you thought I just showed up here to exchange woes and say all I, old chum? Nah, I'm here to kill you all. Boss is on us. There's no room for you lot in his new empire. <laughs> I see there's still a little fire left in you. Alrighty then. Show me a good time, Fazbear. Help him. No, oh, sunrise! <coughs> oh god. He's different. He's not like everyone else. He's not holding anything back. Now you finally get it! Be do this, Bonnie. Oh, don't act like you'd love to. No. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting for this. Chance to finally make something of myself. I leech tough fathers my whole life to finally one day be something. Now I'm a noble in the kingdom of God! So lay down and bow! Ready, stand your ground! You have to use your powers! And clear! have to do something! He's going to kill you! Where do you draw the line, Fazbear? Come on. I can take it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Freddy! I have to do something. Freddy. I have to do something for Freddy. Oh, I can see it in your eyes now. I sense you fading. This is our last moments together, Freddy. Say goodbye. No! Freddy! Freddy! I didn't expect that out of you. <laughs> Gregory, how did you? We'll explain later. Though, if I had to predict, you're all out of your charge. Uh, uh, Gregory! No! 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 <laughs> Gregory, stop! You hurt yourself! I need to save Freddy! Damn brat! Looks like you're gonna be the first to die. <gasps> no!
No! Away from my family. It's impossible. Impossible. No, I will not lose. You saved me, kid. I was so scared. I was so scared. I was gonna lose you. Kid, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just got a little twitch. It's nothing. It's nothing, really. I... I don't understand. Oh my god. The dead eyes. The electricity. The sparks. He's a robot. What? But... But, but how? Freddy, I... I never told you how I got in that box. How did you... A long time ago... I was built by a very brilliant man. His name... Was Fredbear. He told me after I was born that I was his last creation he'd ever built. He told me that I was the most advanced AI he'd ever built. And that I was going to be the thing to stop the big bad man he'd been chasing his whole life. He said I'd be the thing to end it all. Which was the plan, but then bad things started to happen. We lived in a place called the Void. He could watch everything that was happening. And he started to realize that the man he was chasing was moving much faster with his plan than he had first thought. And he had thought that it was too dangerous for me to go out there. For me to fight the big bad man. I was strong, sure, but it was still too dangerous. He said he had to come up with something, something else to stop the bad man. And that's what I feared, that... He was gonna throw me away, but I think I knew deep down that it was for my own good. He said a few words to me before we departed. He said that I needed to find a new family, and that it was too dangerous to be with him. He said he was sorry that he couldn't bring me the joy he had intended, and that even if I couldn't do what he'd made me for, I'd find my purpose one day. And that was the last time I saw him. He set me up a little house and, well, it wasn't much, but it was something I could rest in for a few days at least. He told me that he loved me and that he'd be back for me one day. It had been a few days, give or take. It was cold, wet, rainy. I missed my papa. But then, in the midst of a cold and stormy night. You found me. Um, I'm sorry that you lost your dad. Well, now I've got two. I love you, kid. I love you too. Uh, kid! <laughs> Gregory? What's happening? <laughs> well, I sure showed my old man, huh? That's 
saved a life. It saved a lot of lives, actually. Well, at least five. Six! Six! Six lives, right? No, 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 no! Can't you. You should have let me die! This isn't right! I was sparking long before this. I hid it from you because I didn't want you to worry. What do you mean? This is gonna happen anyway. No! No! Kid, you're all I've got! Not anymore. You've got your family back. You can't leave. I. I. I'm just happy that. To actually have a purpose, and that was saving you. <laughs> kid, kid, don't leave me. Go, go save the world, Freddy. Gregory, Gregory. Okay, you beat me. What are you gonna do now? Kill me? No. But we're gonna give you a chance to join us. What? When I had to save the rest of my friends, my family, I had to destroy them to do that. But maybe you can be the first person to save without having to shatter. <laughs> After what I did to you, you're really just gonna... Let me go? Sure. Besides, making an enemy out of you isn't exactly gonna save the world any faster. And killing you won't make it feel any better either. I... I, I can't believe this. You... I did all this. I was a jerk to you. I was a jerk to your friends even before I met you. And... You're just... Gonna let me free? Neither then or join us. But if you don't... Don't show your face around here again. I just... I don't get it. Why are you so nice to me? Because family sticks together. Maybe I was wrong about all this. Maybe there's more to life than power. Yeah. You know what? Power's overrated. Maybe we can finally make amends. And start fresh. Yeah. I think we'd all like that. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Let's end this. <laughs> Glitch chopping that new body's weak. We could kick his ass easy. Uh, there's one problem with that. What? I mean, even if he takes your powers away, we could still kill him. Uh, uh, he... Kinda is God now. Probably should have mentioned that sooner. Oh! Uh... Great. Let's just go. Yeah. Charlie, are you sure we can do this? We're going to have to try. I want to help too. I may not be the strongest, but... There's no way you two are going to beat that thing alone. We're in this together. I go left, you go right. Nightmare Forever will go for his shins, I guess. Roger that. Yeah!
He's just too strong. Even when we overwhelm him with attacks, he hits twice as hard. <gasps> Girls! Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Everyone, we gotta just stop standing around. Attack him from all angles! Ow, oh, I didn't think he could go one sentence without saying Mr. Butters. But he's right! Everybody, come on! We can overwhelm him with enough people. Possible. Uh, I wish we had some popcorn to watch this with. Do you think we should be helping? Meh, I think he's got it covered. Uh, hey, Fanny! Huh? Look who I Who are they? Oh, you found them! <laughs> who are they? I don't know. Yeah, I took him down pretty easy. Ain't that right, chump? Yeah, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Where's the kid? Oh. Let's just say he was taken care of. Ooh, you're more of a monster than I thought. All right, what do we do with him now? Ooh, I got an idea, but I wouldn't want anyone else hearing. I'm gonna whisper it to you. Ooh, I'm ready to hear this. <laughs> oh! <gasps> what the? I fight for my family now. You traitor! Alright, let's have some fun. Right. Don't get hurt, you four. Yeah, please stay safe. Who the heck are these guys? I don't know, but if they're here to help, I'm welcome for it. These guys work for Glitch Trap, but I think they all turned against him. My gosh. Come on, Moon Drop. There's no escaping the darkness now. Nighty night. I can help too, you know. Thanks. You don't have any. Eh, I'll be fine. Ow! Oh, okay, I'm not fine. Oh my god. We can tag team him. <laughs> Alright, night night moon drop. Whoa, where'd you learn that? Oh, found out right between his rib cages where his sleep seed spot is. I think you just knocked him out. Huh. I really thought that was a moon drop specific thing. What do we do? We can't do anything. We're all too weak. We'll get killed if we try. <sighs> Who are you? My name's Cassidy. Hey, wait a minute. My name's Spot as last time. Who could I? You know, I can just kind of have a feeling that I know what's about to happen. Please be careful with him. I'm as strong as steel, Roxanne. I can take it. One, two, three! Not again! Ah, yes! 
I haven't wanted to do that for a while. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, I'm with my family again. Ah! Alright guys, let's take down this guy. Wait, where's Bonnie? <laughs> that was a good one! Why won't you go down? I always get back up. Bonnie! This one's mine. No! We have to help. Right. Come on! You're right! Come on! Back away, you freaks! Back away! I can fight it. What's happening? Everyone's passed out. <laughs> What's happening? Is it just us four? I think so. So what are you gonna do? Are we gonna fight? Oh, no one can talk. Simply unstoppable. It would be pointless for us to continue. So I ask you all, would you like to be spared in exchange for your allegiance? The Afton family is all but one. And we need some new lineage to continue this bloodline. Who would like to go first? No! Resistance, then! I shall show you for no mercy. And these weak wings, these lesser life forms, their dreams may be filled. With your blood girl screams. Not gonna happen. I'm away. I'm away. Now, where were we? Oh yeah! <laughs> Well, I'm just trying to follow in your footsteps. Why are we watching a soap drama? Just cherish the moment. Do you know why we haven't obliterated these ignorance? Not exactly. Because we've been stalling. Stalling? This is what you call stalling? What the hell are you stalling for? And you attacking everyone like that? Is stalling? Yeah, what gives? What exactly are we stalling for, boss? Oh, you have for things to flip right side up. For that, the right and clear. My dear 
Close one. What is it? What's happening? Of failed. I can see that. <laughs> now the real fun can finally begin. You, hello, lesser sister. Long time no see. Uh. All right. What are we waiting for? We can flow with these. Oh, we can flow with these. Oh, looks like backup just got here. Be a little harder than I first thought. This is weird, sending all my friends. All right, Vanessa. I'm not running away anymore. Then why are you backing up? Come on, fight me. Okay. Oh! Looks like you got a bit more punch now. You can thank Fredbear for that. It's him. It's always him! Though I'm still the one throwing the punches. <laughs> Stuff heals too. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Nope. Uh, uh, can't be happening. This can't be happening. Murderous side is so much better than your friendly go lucky security guard side. Yeah? Well, maybe. I like this me better. Uh, 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 Pretty good. Oh, you're pretty strong too, and considering you're also me, I guess that would make us equals. And besides, who knows me better than myself? Let's kick things up a notch. Accept your fate and die! 
We can't keep throwing punches forever. You're right. We need to find out how we're going to be able to destroy you. Yeah, because I don't think, even with the eight of us, we could throw enough energy magic blasts to take him down. Yeah, he's simply not just going to go down with that. I do know one thing. Freddy told me that he constructed some kind of core. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he talked to me about that. It's that orb that he used to become a god. Right. This is what I'm thinking, right? Yeah. Do you remember earlier when he threw that big energy blast out of his mouth? Yeah, I do. Did you notice how his chest was glowing? Yeah, you're right. It was glowing purple, like... There's something inside it. Exactly! That's where his core is. The heart! Yeah. I have a feeling if we separate him from that. All those parts and all that junk, he'll just be back to small little Afton. You gotta be right! But how do we extract it? I don't think we can just climb inside. I don't even want to think about that. There has to be some way we can just take it out, right? Do you think that that core has any resemblance of life? I mean, yeah, it was created through negative emotion. I could see it having some kind of life powers in it. Why? Well, you see, back before I knew this whole thing was going to go down, I gave Glitchtrap his new body. I used my powers, my powers of color, and life by extent, to extract his glitchy form into the physical body. So you're saying, if I'm somehow able to reverse that, I can take the core out of his body and then he'll just melt from the seams. That's a great idea. But how are we going to be able to get him down enough to do that? I think we'll just have to overwhelm him. All of us, together. We'll have to blast him until, eventually, he falls. And then, when he's down and vulnerable, I'll extract that core right out of him. Okay. I don't think we have much time, though. We need to hurry. Right. Fighting anyway. Ow! Finally! You die here, Vanessa. Stop! I told you that I was better than you. I said stop! I think I did it. It's over. It's never over.
I... I did it. It's just a costume again. Wow. <laughs> I did it! Oh, oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, right, that's the thing. Oh! We need to think of something fast. Yeah, you don't think I know that? Oh! 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 Sis! Oh no. Spring trap! Huh? We need a distraction. And fast. She did it. She defeated Vanny. Are you sure it's gonna... Oh, Afton's gonna lose it. Hey, Afton! Look who just lost their last battle. Uh, yeah. I killed her real good. Just a flabby costume now. Man, what is this? Uh, stress me! Pathetic worm! How could you lose to someone so minuscule? Should I be taking offense to that? You are my most monumentous partner, and now it's all thrown away! He really did care about me. And it's all your fault. Okay. Maybe not me, me, but that me. He cared about that one at least. Uh, if your plan was just to sacrifice me, I'm not too thrilled about that! Everyone! At him at once! Now! I think he has a plan. because I don't think they're going to be able to hold him down for much longer. I'm ending this. She's probably not too. Alright. I did it! I... Glamrock Freddy, you did it! You... made of real people yeah uh trust me it was disturbing to watch are we sure he's dead i doubt it his real body's probably in this somewhere considering the fact that he was also a part of all those people hmm. who'd like to do the honors um. well if no one else wants to do it gladly <laughs> Ah, oh, now that was satisfying. Our friends. 
What happened? I went snoozies. You guys are okay! Ah! Yeah, I'm fine. Did we miss anything? Oh, the monster's dead. Cool! <sighs> Mr. Butters, I was knocked out. <sighs> <sighs> What happened? Hey, the guys! He's... we did it. Well, they did it, but I guess we helped, maybe. Hey, Springtrap! <gasps> oh, God! Oh, hey, baby! Oh, my God, I'm so happy you guys are okay. Baby! Where were you guys? I was worried sick. Uh, let's just say we took a little detour. <gasps> oh! Oh! <coughs> uh. uh. Where am I? Where am I? The heck? He's small again! Hey, yeah! What happened? I was sleeping soundly in my cobweb and then all of a sudden I wake up here. What day is it? Uh, August of 2022. Jesus, I missed a few months. Almost six months. You know, I guess now's not a time like the present. I'm gonna go find El Chip and Funtime Chica. Maybe I can reconnect with them after all these years. Bye-bye! So he really wasn't evil. <sighs> what happened? Did we? Uh, oh, my head. Uh, huh? Moondrop? Oh, hey, Sunrise. How's it going? <laughs> Moondrop! Oh, oh, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm good. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all, pal. <laughs> Must have had a dust storm come by or something. You know, I had this weirdest dream. I had a weird dream that I went crazy and I got obsessed with the dark and then I got super cool powers and I bought you a bunch. It was fun. That wasn't... You know what? Never mind. Was it something I said? Uh. Ugh. Wow. That sounds like a costume to me. Guess I mean she's dead. Who the heck is the girl in blonde? And why are they a human? Guys! <sighs> oh, thank God you're all okay. You guys did it. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Fazbear. You did a dang good job. Ah, shucks. And besides, I couldn't have done it without you guys. I had something worth fighting for. I'm gonna cry. I don't have eyes, but I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she's doing all that for you. Oh, thank God you guys are okay. After all that, I don't want more blood on my hands. Uh, y'all have been through enough. Hey, we couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, where are your glasses? Oh, right. Ah! Oh. Y you know what, Monty? Hmm? What? They look better on you anyway. You really mean it? Yeah. Ah, oh. feels good to be back. <sighs> hey, where's Cassidy? Hmm? I don't think she was with us towards the end of their fight. Where do you think she went? I have no idea. I just hope she's okay. Yeah. What was that? Huh? What? Huh? Ah! 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 Oh. Hi there. So you're alive. Yes, alive. You destroyed my core? Duh! I can't make another one! What are you doing here? Being alive, duh! <sighs> you silly little bastard. I can't believe you slipped through my fingers that easily. But this is a chance to start anew. You trust me, right, Vanessa? Yeah. After all that, hell no. Ow! <sighs> White women. <sighs> no matter. My hive mind is still at large, of course. I always have a backup plan. Minions attack! Minions attack! Attack? Yes! I knew it would work! Oh no. Son? 
dead! Son! Ah! Oh, thank God you're okay. Oh. Oh, my sweet baby boy. Oh, I was under some strange hypnosis spell, under a dream. Oh, I dreamed of sea urchins, and I saw me Miss Mary again. Oh, where'd you get that nasty scab from, son? Uh, y you know what? It's best you don't know. Well, it's your first true pirate scar. Right? I, 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 I. Yeah, thanks, Dad. What? <gasps> huh? What? Uh, what happened? I don't know. Uh, wait. This isn't the circus. You boys okay? Yeah, I think so. Ugh. Uh, well, this is certainly awkward. No kidding. Huh. Guess I don't have superpowers anymore. Damn it. Oh, I still love you the way you are, son. Thanks, Dad. What the hell happens? Ah! Why do I have so many cousins? You're telling me, pal. I came out of a storybook. Hey. Wait, that's the guy. I remember him. He found us and captured us. Uh, 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 I better get the hell out of here. Let's see if this still works. Come on, come on! <laughs> Shit! Where'd he go? Oh no! We have to go find him. Watch String Trap, me and you tag along. Okay! Wait, I'm coming too! Everybody else stay behind and make sure everything's okay. Do you think they're gonna be okay? Well, it's not hard to kill Afton by himself, but it's just how they're going to be able to do it that worries me. Thank goodness I survived. I hardly even glitched away correctly that time. I can't do that again. And on top of that, I don't even know where I am. I was so close! No matter. I will not give in to those stupid, stupid children. I will prevail. I will build again. I am far from finished. William Afton is not over. My reign of terror has only begun. <laughs> what was that? There's no way he'd be in here, right? I don't know. This bunker seems like a good hideout spot. Who wouldn't be surprised? I have no idea who used this last, though. Alright. I think this is the last room. What? No. It's not possible! Uh, no, it's... I can't. If I do, I don't know if I'll come back. Glitching is not something you should do in a physical form. Guys? What? No way. Of course. Glitch trap. Glitch trap? We've got you backed into a corner. Quite literally. It's time we end this, William. No! Get out of here! I. I can't lose! It's over. Either turn yourself in, or we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Fine. Then I choose the hard way! Uh, 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 Springtrap! Uh, uh, oh. It's over, William. You've lost. Oh, have I? You can't truly kill me, you know. It's in my catchphrase. I always come back! Uh, uh, I'll tire all of you out, and then I'll escape this place, and I'll build a new army, one stronger than the last, 
And you all will never hear the end of it. Do you got a plan? How do we kill this guy? I don't know. The only ever way we've managed to kill him, quote unquote, is fire. How the heck are we supposed to start a fire? Well, it's not exactly foolproof. This is a bunker that if we locked down, though, he likely wouldn't be able to escape. But that still begs Spring Bonnie's question. How do we start a fire? We could at least attempt to knock him out, you know? Overwhelm him with our powers? Something? I don't know if that's possible, but not like I've ever tried. Well, we have to do something. Yeah, I'm for the knocking him out part. Here goes nothing. Uh, fine. What's happening? The lights are. Blew all the lights. What? No! No, 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 no! Not again. I can't lose this physical form. Not again! Fire. Well, great. Let's get out of here then. If we get to the door before him, we can lock the bunker within him's side. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here! Those fools can run. I don't get out of here somehow. No. I'm ending this. Wait. What? Where's Springtrap? Springtrap? Spring Bonnie, stay here. I'm gonna go find him. Please hurry! There's gotta be a crack in the walls. <gasps> 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 What are you doing, you idiot? I'm ending this. Springtrap, let's go! No! If we just leave him here, he's gonna find a way to escape this bunker. I'm ending this now. You idiot! Don't you realize if you keep me down here, you're going to burn with me? That's what it takes. Springtrap, you don't have to do this! This means protecting my family. And so be it. Fredbear, Thank you for everything. And once you want to burn with me, I suggest you get going. Keep Spring Bonnie safe for me. Please. No. As you wish. No! Oh, no, you don't! Where's Springtrap? We have to go. What are you talking about? We're not leaving Springtrap here! It was his last request, Spring Bonnie. He wants to end this and save everyone. What is he stupid? No, we're going back for him. Spring Bonnie, we have to go. No, don't let me leave him. He's right. Afton's going to escape if someone doesn't keep him down here. He's done it before, he'll do it again. I know that well. Why does it have to be him? Let me take his place, I'll do it. He wants you to be safe more than anything, Spring Bonnie. Anything? Anything. Now, come on. Don't make this for nothing. Okay.
I'll be with you. All right. Oh, I can see again. Thank God. Thanks for helping us, Freddy. You guys, you're my family. I'd do anything for you. Hmm. <laughs> well, certainly did a lot for us. So everything's all good now? Ah, oh, yep. Finished up the last one. Good. You're welcome for helping you home in on your powers, by the way. Thanks. I really didn't think self-healing was that easy. Oh, I'm worried. Baby, I'm sure they're gonna be okay. I know Afton's weak and all, but what if he has a plan B? What if he gets the upper hand and then we're back in this mess again? I'm sure Henry's got a plan. I spent a long time with him. Dude's smart. <sighs> you better be right. <laughs> you guys are back. What happened? Where's Springtrap? He sacrificed himself. What? Springtrap? Oh no. <laughs> we trapped Glitch Trap in the bunker and set the whole place on fire. But that alone wasn't enough to stop him from escaping. So Springtrap stayed down there and fought him until the fire consumed them both. <laughs> oh no. Well, he's a goddamn hero. He saved his buddy. Guys, I... I don't mean to sour the mood or anything. What are you talking about? Of course, what Springtrap did was noble and necessary to get Glitchtrap out of a physical body, but we've done this so many times before, Henry. This is the third time we've tried killing him with fire. Yeah, that's true. And he always manages to bounce back even stronger. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting that he might have another plan. We've proven multiple times that fire isn't enough to kill him. We need something more. We can't let our guard down yet. Are you saying Springtrap's sacrifice was for nothing? I'm not saying that. Like I said, his sacrifice was necessary to get Glitchtrap out of a physical body. But that's not going to be it. It will be in vain if we don't kill him, though. Well, then what the hell could his plan B be? I'll finish him off. I'll kill him myself. Spring Bonnie, don't act hastily. I hate to admit it, but she's probably right. If for some reason Glitchtrap has a plan B, then... This is a problem for a lot of us. What could it be, though? What could he possibly bounce back from? Oh. Uh, guys? What's wrong, Vanessa? My head feels really spinny. Uh. Vanessa! Oh. Henry. Vanessa, it's gonna be okay. I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm scared. Vanessa! Vanessa! She's out cold. What could have caused that? Wait a minute. He's still in her mind. What? But, but I thought when we, when the bath, the, the, the hive mind, I thought we destroyed it. He's held a much stronger grasp on her for a lot longer. He must still be persisting. Well, what the hell do we do? We can't just enter her mind. Well, there has to be some way. We can't let him get away again. I think all we can do now is that pray she can fight it.
<laughs> My luck is turning. I forgot that I had this backup installed. I'm going to take her body and hide amongst them. Those idiots. They should know. I always come back. Silver Why the hell are you doing here? I'm here to end this, Dad. No more running away. I'm killing you here and now. <laughs> I knew you had one place left to run, if all else failed. This poor girl, you've tortured her, enslaved her. But, it'll be your final tomb. I'm your Grim Reaper, Dad. I'm here to reclaim the sins that you've committed. Shut up! I'm so close! Please, my <laughs> thought you might need backup. How did you know? Eh, just a feeling. I left extra early just to be sure. Cassidy, I could have handled this, you know. Eh, you can never be too sure. Proud of you, though. I try my best. Stop! Ignore me! All right, fine. Let's get this over with, then. Yeah, I agree. No! No! It's impossible! You can't kill me! Last words, Dad? You can't! Again. I... We can finally be at peace. Well, while that's true and all, huh? Our lives are just getting started. Come on. Huh? Let's get out of here, bud. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
She's up. Everyone stay back. Vanessa? Uh, what happened? I feel... Free? What? Did you... Did you stop Afton in your head? I think so. I know he's gone, but... I didn't do anything. Then who? The job's done. You did it? Wizard Golden Freddy! There you are! Where did you go? I had a feeling that he had a plan B, so I went to make sure Vanessa was going to be okay, and I hid inside her mind. And there I found him, and I killed him. Well, not without a little help. Huh? He's alive. Hey guys. Evan! Golden Freddy? What the? Where have you been? Oh my god! Golden Freddy! Long time no see. <laughs> I missed you, pal! Oh, I missed you too, Bonnie. <laughs> Hey guys, don't go running off like that. Yeah, we were worried sick about you. Sure, it wasn't visually displayed every day, but god dang it, I missed you, dude. Yeah, I centimized the others. Don't run off like that again. I won't. I wish Springdrop was still here. Hey. While we were fighting this war, I lost someone very important to me, too. He was strong, he was brave, and he retroactively saved the world. Showed the people who doubted him, and, well, he knew he had it. And I didn't know Springtrap. Hell, I don't even think I hardly met him. The only time I spent with him was when we were fighting that huge robot, but I can tell that... Deep down, he loved you a lot. As this world's keeper of color, I don't know. I can just sense it that you were a bright spark in his life. Maybe something to reason to keep him going, you know? the messenger. Straight from his heart. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. How is he so good at that? God damn it, Freddy. Ugh. We did it. So... Now what? I don't know. Yeah, I guess life just goes back to how it was a few days ago. Very true, very true. Hmm. Strange. At least we have Golden Freddy back, though. Hi. Well, I guess here's to more adventures. I agree with what Foxy said. In fact, I have an idea! Oh, Lay it on us, Bonnie. There's this brand new FNAF game that came out called Pop Goes Arcade. Who wants to go advertise it? <laughs> What's a pop goes?
Oh. Hey. You're here too. Yeah. <sighs> I know we kind of had a heart to heart back there. You think you're going to be okay? Yeah. I I do. I just can't help but miss him. You know? Yeah. I feel ya. But that's why we treasure the time we had with them. They may be gone, but they'll never be forgotten. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know there was the funeral service and all, but did they ever manage to find the body? No. The building was filled with ash. There was no traces of anything left. I'm sorry about that. It's gotta be rough. Yeah. But, I don't know. Something deep down tells me that maybe he's still out there somewhere. Oh. <sighs> 